Oh, oops, I forgot to turn on my face. Sorry. One moment, please. And there. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, everyone. How are you all doing today? Uh, today is Sunday, February 20th, 2022. It's 12.57 p.m. Um, decent, decent weather today. <clears throat> Welcome to Mage, Keladon, Micah, Russian Bro, Angeli, Oolongs, Ilya, Inethica, Bug, Amber, Chuba, Ilya, Ellie, Mage, Snake Man, the stream element spot that doesn't do anything but post useless updates, <laughs> uh, stuns, Gaplander, Emily, Graphy Clock and Weather Forecast. Why did you say the date, time, and weather like Dale Cooper? I don't know. Uh, just before the stream started, Ellie made this Apricot Ghost. Hold on. Uh, look at this. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you again. <laughs> oh, Nico. Nico, my cousin. Which hand are you? I'm the crying one. Is this like Augursley's bear question? <laughs> Let's go bowling, oh no. I'm glad, I had no idea you literally just went like... I was expecting Nico Nico Ni. Nee. Huh? Ah, hold on, it's too hot. Once again. Graphite's ever-shifting temperature. The downsides of... I guess being a nuclear reactor heat moderator. <laughs> Uncontrollable temperature changes. I think Roman would definitely have a Crunchyroll subscription. <laughs> yeah, he watches Manime with, uh... Who's that guy? Brucey? The guy who looks like he's constantly, like, like... Uh, selling like in a wrestling ring like all of his motion capture acting is like he looks like he's just about to do wrestling moves Hey, what's my style guy? I saw some of your uh, uh, Rain retrieving the information wild arms uh, <laughs> stream earlier Oh Augersley <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, hope you are all well today. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I feel like playing Sniff today. There's so much reading, I just don't feel up for it. Uh, but I hope this Alice game is fun. Oh, I just realized. I was gonna make a censorship thing because there's a painting with full frontal nudity in it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just not click on that. Hey, Shelter Mix. Oh, Neko Magico. Oh, nice. Glad you tuned in. That game is really cool. Yeah, it is. I played it some years ago. Uh, it's very cool. I think it's like a, I don't know, it's a real special game with magic powers to it. The 3D battles and all their stock sound effects are like absolutely hysterical to me. Come on, you can show art on Twitch. Well, it's art, it's fine. <laughs> Ilio voice, pog. Hey, lives. How's it going? I slept a long time. Yeah, I kind of did today as well. I slept in by an entire 30 minutes, and then I stayed in bed for like an hour and a half after that, which, uh, I don't, I don't do that anymore. I typically, I was able to change 
my habits so that when the alarm goes off, I spring out of bed and I don't get back into it. And I've, that's been working out pretty well, but man, it was just too tempting today. I love when I shoot a panther with a laser and it just explodes, making a kaboom sound. Yeah. <laughs> and then the panther dies and makes like a chimpanzee noise or something. Oh, you want me to get in there? <clears throat> Which just makes me think of the intro of uh, Deadly Premonition, where they show those squirrels and they're making like stock chimpanzee noises. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. <sighs> I feel so drowsy still. That cutscene is important. It sets the tone. It's probably one of the best opening cutscenes in any game. The fact that he is on the phone. He's smoking and driving and using a laptop and on the phone at the same time in a rainstorm. And he's like speeding. And he's also talking about uh, whether or not Tom and Jerry have like a consensual BDSM relationship with each other. And he's arguing that if it's what Tom wants, then that's fine, and that it should be fine for them to provide it to one another. <laughs> Jerry does mean, even sadistic things to Tom, but that's alright if it's what Tom wants. <laughs> this is the beginning of Deadly Premonition, Angel <laughs> All with an alternate personality, but no, but he's talking on the phone to someone. I don't know who- I don't know if we ever find out who he's talking to. <laughs> uh, I love that game. I love that game so much. It's too bad that the only entertainment to be had from Deadly Premonition 2 is uh, that the frame rate drops to like 12 frames a second every time you go outdoors and the load times are literally minutes long. <laughs> Just incredible. I think that's a feat in and of itself. I had a dream a couple nights ago that I didn't sell my Xbox copy of DP. Uh, you know, I had a copy of that as well and I sold it too because I sold my Xbox at the time. Too bad. A gem gone. At least it's on It's on the newer Xboxes, uh, backwards compatible. You can just buy it. That's good. The best version, still available for purchase. There's so many sound bites from that game that are always stuck in my head. Like George saying, it's a small flower, no name. Or, uh, that guy Jack, the raging bull at the gas station telling York to shut his crap. <laughs> the version that actually provides any meaningful friction. Yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with this, every version after the original 360 version of Deadly Premonition, uh, tunes the difficulty to be even easier than the easiest difficulty in the original version. So there's like no, like it's not like the combat or any of the challenge stuff is like any good, but it also tunes stuff like your hunger and sleep meters, so you basically never have to eat or sleep. Uh, which is interesting because like in the original game, I think if you run out of your tiredness meter, I think that York will sleep for 18 hours straight. And there's nothing you can do about that, unless you, like, drink coffee or sleep in advance. Which I think is a very funny way to deal with a tiredness mechanic. <laughs> uh. Shut your crap, York. I like the core of Deadly Premonition. Like, the core of Deadly Premonition for me was scrambling to get a mission trigger on time because I was hunting around for a donut to feed him so he wouldn't live. Yeah. <laughs> and all the insane, like, dollar amounts of, like, things. Like how buying a worm from the proprietor of the hotel costs $800. 
Imagine having a disease that would make your sleep habits like that. It's called never sleeping. I like the part where he talks about he likes movies with women turning into animals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always watching these movies where women turn into animals. He starts talking about cat people starring Malcolm McDowell. Ugh. A can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. Yes. <laughs> High quality beef will satisfy a large amount of your hunger. I wonder if I still have that in my stream graphics folder. No. Where is it? Ah, damn it. Did I really delete high quality beef? Come on, Graffy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh no, there it is! Yes. High quality beef will satisfy a large amount of your hunger. Also, like how RPG. Deadly Premonition has sound effects ripped from RPG Maker XP? Really? <laughs> Have you seen Emperor of the North, Zack? Hey, Cloud. High quality beef. Why does it seem like the music just got like significantly louder? Uh. Well, I guess we should go ahead and start the game. Um. Cat people is good. It has a bus in it that scares you. Yeah, the down with cis bus. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's close the window and start the game. I was having problems with this game be before. Uh, where it was like ass it was like every time I went to a different room in the game, it was prompting me to manually select the directory where the next room was. But I believe I've fixed that now. I'm gonna crank it also, crank the volume. Uh, because I think this is another game that's going to be super quiet. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's that sound. Is it gonna... Capture? C capture? Hmm, I don't think that's the right capture. Hold on. What? What what was it that was that was capturing this? Strange. I could have swore. Hmm. I, I guess not. Maybe I am mistaken. <clears throat> All right. Let me uh. Let me let me uh resize this real quick to be appropriate. Appropriate sizing. Should have set this up in advance, but I just forgot. Or I, I thought that it was already set up. So, oh well. I think that I... Oh yeah, it fits cleanly in the frame. That's nice. That's always nice, isn't it? <clears throat> um. So, today we're going to be playing Alice, an interactive museum. Oh. The working directory is invalid? Is that so? Is that so? What does that mean? Do I have to mount the CD image to make this work? Let's try that. Ah, that's, that's what it needed. Let's look at the readme. How to operate Alice. Do not do the following. Unnecessary use of the keyboard. Shifting to background programs. Uh, I mean, this is just like troubleshooting shit. Alice display is reduced in size. Is there, what is, uh, it seemed like there was music. It was like, um, wave music, like, like MP3 type of music, sound music, not MIDI music. <sighs> Tomodachi life walking sound effects. Are those from RPG Maker? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
the high quality beef a whole year ago. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. Yeah, I know, right? Feels like it was just yesterday. It was something I was thinking about when uh, when we did the, the one year celebration stream was like a year of streaming feels like a month and like a week of not streaming feels like a year. <clears throat> been wondering about putting voice clips in my game because of this. No voice acting, just like Baldur's Gate quip when you press Z on a guy. <laughs> um, how to speed up Alice. Alright, this is all just like troubleshooting stuff. So uh this is the same uh director as uh Gadget, which we played on Wednesday, of course. Uh this game was developed by Toshiba EMI Limited, though. And I think that it was published by Synergy, and Synergy went on to develop the subsequent games uh, that this were headed by this director. So um, let's go ahead and start this up. Made with macro media, yeah. For a big girl like me. Alright, let's start. Wouldn't it make more sense for Toshiba to be the publisher? I guess not, because uh, Synergy was the publisher. Toshiba EMI was not on the next game. It was developed and published by Synergy, at least according to uh, Wikipedia when I checked last night. Who's turning on a PS3 in here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I never, I hate that. Like, I would frequently turn on my PS3 and leave the TV off to avoid, uh, to avoid hearing the, the orchestra tuning up sound because it is so annoying to me. <laughs> is, uh... Is it loud enough? Like, the logo was there when you started it. Well, I don't know. Maybe they they provided some assistance or something. <sighs> PS3 is the worst startup. It's one of the worst startup noises. Damn, we rendering in cycles here. Yeah, it does look like cycles with that grainy ass display. <laughs> Uh, seems okay. Time to pay the pipper. Hello, restless eternity. That's a cool effect, in my opinion. Ah. Of course. Uh, this game, unlike Gadget, does not have context-sensitive, like, mouse cursor stuff. Okay. Oh. Mist style. We just went into the room. The blades. <laughs> yeah, the subsequent 360 UIs are, are very bad. Huh? I love the cycles grain. I turn it up on purpose for some stuff I do. That's smart. I never considered using it for stylistic purposes. That's why the Modern Warfare 3 cover looks kind of good to me. Oh. <laughs> Front facing rabbit. <laughs> oh. We're just here now. Oh, gloves. We got the gloves. Oh, isn't that nice? No sound effects. I don't know if there are supposed to be. I mean, I would assume that there are because, or I would assume there's not because we have like, like music that's not MIDI or OPL. So I assume this is probably a pretty minimalist type of game. Oh. 
strange potions drink me don't drink me very strange potions in two green bottles so i i heard that the the objective of this game is to collect 53 playing cards and then there's an ending so i guess we'll be doing that potions funny perrier bottles it's like if mist made pajama sam are you talking about manhole Can you imagine if Shenmue 3 was like an early 360 non-linear thing like Dead Rising? God, that would be great. <laughs> I think if Shenmue 3 was made on the 360, that would have been like uh, the best time that that could be made. Corny ass 90s Pomo video game shit like this is so cute. I like it. I think it's I think it's cool, personally. The Legacy of Mist. Very cool. The Promise of the CD-ROM Multimedia. Oh, we've become big. Uh, n now what? There's like not a whole lot of like audio. Oh, rain, rain. Thank you, thank you, Nathika. Much appreciated. Oh, big. A different kind of big. 52 pick. <laughs> Every time I think of that, I think of the episode of the Rugrats where the grandpa shoots a bunch of cards all over some old people that he's angry at. And he says 52 pick up. <laughs> That's the only context I can think that about. I checked Moby Games and Synergy developed and Toshiba EMI published both this and Gadget. Wikipedia is wrong. Oh, okay. Thank you for, uh, thank you for looking that up. I why is Wikipedia wrong? Make Wikipedia is never wrong. They were both Tommy's grandpa. <laughs> I've never seen Rug Rat before my time. It's a deeply unpleasant show. I feel like you might get something out of it, Chuba, but it is like a very it's a very like bad and ugly show. <laughs> it's just a piece of shit show. <laughs> I don't know why it was so popular. I feel like you should be entitled to free therapy if you saw Rug Rat. <laughs> as a child uh, no i'm serious it was Dee Dee's dad and Stu's dad oh oh i remember mostly remember the really unpleasant ps1 games at other people's houses wikipedia is wrong party i was thinking of a grandpa like russian roulette <laughs> that, is a, that is a pretty good that's a pretty good gag <laughs> <laughs> uh what are we do we just can we become even bigger or do we just hit our head is this just for goofs okay oh <laughs> oh my but i can't like i can't like do anything once i have become miniature this shadowing from multiple light sources is very cool it's a neat looking game okay i guess uh how do i how do i return to normal do i have a means of becoming normal again or i i click on everything Uh Oh. Okay. W weird. I just had to click on the bottles and then click away from them. Strange. This guy. I think that uh who's this? Kumiyoshi Kaneko. It's uh one of the artists who worked on this game. Oh. Whoa. Oh, come on. Oh. Hey. It feels like there should be some sound effects, but I don't think that there are. Lose the shorts. I guess I can't do anything with those. 
<laughs> He's kind of swagged up. This is a fit. You are now playing Juggernaut. I I kind of wish. Uh. Every cartoon I watched on TV as a kid, I was like, man, I wish this was Digimon Tamers. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. Uh, a little scarf to Smith. You're worried about full frontal boobs, but you sprint to his crotch. Come on, they're not going to show his penis. Come on. Uh... Does that produce, like, more potion? Do I follow his belt? Like, I, I, I'm I struggling. Oh, maybe, maybe I have to click on the belt again. Go down. Belt. Okay, it goes off the side of the screen. Can I follow? S strange game. And uh, nothing else seems to be clickable. Okay. Vest? N no, I wanted to look at the vest. Pocket watch? Whoa! Sweet. All right, so that's just a little, just a little fun. A little fun in games. Can I, can I do anything else? Okay, well, it's just the watch again. It would be so funny if they show a penis. Maybe click his belt again before leaving. Like maybe it goes off the painting. What do you mean? Uh, the only thing is I can't leave from the screen where we are on the bottom half of the painting. Uh, can I click from here? No. Like, you, uh, on the upper half to leave, you click outside of this border, but I don't seem to be able to leave from this, like, screen. Whoa, another synergy joint? Yep. Hello, Avalon Trigger. How do you do? <clears throat> hmm. Lamp? Wow. I really, it feels like this game is missing something by not having sound effects. Let's look at this. Wait, this is nudity. Oh my god. That is, she is not wearing any clothes at all. Except for this, like, cloak, I guess. Eraser? Yeah? This is... I, I... I remember clicking on this. Oh yeah, and it pours out some blue ink. And the screen turns blue. David is in Animal Crossing now, it's fine. This is very similar to those warp covers. Reminds me that weird point and click set in a nightclub. I mean, there was uh this director, I can't remember his name. Hifumi Kono, I think his name is. Uh he I was reading on his Wikipedia page that in the 80s he made some kind of like like <sighs> some kind of video art or something that's considered to be like uh influential on japanese like idm or something like that so i feel like it's possible that that warp records have seen this game and this did get a western release oh um is there nothing else to do in this painting really shoe sock the bow no nothing Oh. <laughs> Thumbelina? Wait. Can we go into this smaller one in the book? Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
desk lamp oh of course smile tears is this uh shiritori or anagrams or something uh who is david oh the statue of david i see see out in Sundays. <laughs> the sinister legend of Elba the shoe thief who covers your room in blue. Okay, so smile. Style. Stale. Stare. Stars. Sears. Oh. Five cards. A round of light floats in the dark. Ceiling, floor, and four walls. In six paintings, hide five cards. Okay. So there's five cards between six paintings? I gotta write some of this shit down. Hold on. Let me let me get my notebook situated. We have two cards. We're looking for 53 in total. So we have one, two. I'm making tally marks. Uh, a round of light in dark in six paintings hide five cards six hmm smiles and tears mother too designers republic started in the late 80s too i'm not too familiar with what they've done outside of like autiker um autiker album covers hey you know we could be we could be doing this in like notepad or something uh let me <clears throat> notepad let's get a notepad open notepad file to mark these things down we have we have two out of 53 cards I'm going to capture the notepad window. So we have our notes. Oh, stretch and hydrate. Oh shit, where's my water bottle? Hold on, I have to go find it. One second. I found it. Okay, I can hydrate now. <laughs> ah, thank you, thank you. Running notepad in the background while playing this game is in direct defiance of the game's rules. Uh. <laughs> oh! A tiny door. I should probably slow that down, huh? Slow what down? Finally, some music. Oh. Ah. I see. <laughs> huh? Interesting. Mwah. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. What is obvious to click on? Ah, this is like a mural that goes all the way around this room, I guess. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's the corner. Interesting. Hmm. What will we do? Look up at the ceiling? To see appliques? What what am I looking at? This is the ceiling, right? Uh there's the king card, straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, dealers, straight. Alright, we got we got three cards. <clears throat> what? Applique. Hmm? Yeah, we got the card. So Okay, clicking just takes me back to this room. Opera operation operation? Let's let's look at this wall. Flat on, I guess. I'm back. I got pubs the Oh, why'd y'all say oh? This is like photoshopped t-shirt. Huh? Skizzers? Whoa. Hmm. Uh clicking on that book. What? like flipped the painting around what's going on all right we're looking we're looking okay that's the floor that we're seeing right there what the hell's going on uh operation operation hmm. this is that guy's belt is this the same guy with the belt I I don't I don't know. This is very very strange. Hmm. All right. The degree of rotation is odd. You know, I, I question whether this flashlight thing was really necessary. <laughs> Graphy reaction when seeing a tit. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it, okay? It was surprising. Oh my god, I'm gonna get in trouble. Tennis? Badminton? Bottle? You know, this game, it needs a little more sauce. We need some, like, sound effects or, like, music or something. Dead silence as you, like, mouse around and look desperately for anything to click on is kind of... Oh, my goodness. Uh... Huh? Oh! Visitor. A sudden visitor lying on a snow-white sheet. The hunting dog sense the smell of death are these even are these hints at all well, we have four cards now regardless oh my goodness um <laughs> x -t. so that just shows the painting <laughs> graphy's homemade sound effects uh i'll just start making I'll start making sound effects for the game. Um Am I going to get in trouble for this? I'm I'm in trouble, you guys. There's a dog. Okay. So this guy dead? Oh. 
Oh, the dog is gone now. So... Why, why did clicking on those, whatever they are, get rid of the dog from this painting? That ass. Being in trouble is fake. Every future player who plays this will suffer from graphite sound effects. The flashlight hovers over a titty and there's just a soft wah in the background. <laughs> uh, wah. What? Uh, maybe that made the dog move to another painting? I don't know. Maybe this is one of the paintings that doesn't have a card in it. Let's, let's look at the floor, if we may. Right, it seems like we can't look straight down. We can only see a bit of the painting on the floor at a time. And let's look over at, um... This painting with the glasses in it. Why not? Why not? Oh my goodness. There's that belt again. Is the belt some kind of like important symbol? Like, is there a story in this game? I, I don't know. This <laughs> is very odd. Clicking on that glass. Oh, reveals the six card. Why? I don't know. Six spools scattered on the floor. One white spool suspended in air. Okay, so we're looking for this is a this is a hint, I guess. We're looking for a spool in the air. Pretty cool painting. <laughs> Graphy, wah redeem. She will wah for you. Hey Monday. Welcome. It's not a woo, it's a woo. Are all the images from the same artist? Yeah, I think I, it's uh, Kaneko. <clears throat> we got it. We a dick. <laughs> Cock. Yeah. There it is. We got it. It's in the bag. All right, let's go to the next painting over and see if we can find the spools. Okay, so this is the painting with the spools on it. Um, we want one white spool suspended in the air. This one? Did we already get this painting? Maybe? One white spool suspended in the air. Operation, operation. I don't think we got this one, did we? This is very, like, uh, reminds me of, like, 80s new wave art. If anybody else is like familiar with that. Parlor game, rolling ball, flying ball, ball in outstretched hand. The game is to find the ball. Oh, is that so? We found another one. So that's uh, six in total. <clears throat> Did I miss a penis unclothed? Yeah. It was all over the place. Cool. Her face is, like, just flat-out white. Alright, let's see. Now we're looking for balls. <clears throat> the game is to find the ball. That's what we're looking for now. I wonder if there's anything in the floor painting. It said five cards and six paintings. So maybe there's one card per painting. Uh, We already saw this one. Okay. Sun visitor lying on a snow white sheet. The hunting dog scents the smell of death. So we didn't get the one from the hunting dog painting. And we got one from the ceiling. I think we've got one from every painting except for the dog. <clears throat> Gonna need a clip. Nope. Nope. Okay, dog. Scents the smell of death. We click on that and the dog disappears. But like now now what do we click on? Like clearly there's something here, but what? Like what is it? Huh. 
just click on everything. <sighs> hmm. We've already looked at the ceiling. So I think that we have this already. Yeah, we saw this. What was it that we clicked on to get uh to get the card from this painting? Was it the applique book? Yeah, I think so. It was just the book. What does the book say? Three, four, seven. We should probably I'm gonna write this down. This is this seems like a hint. Um Three spades, four clubs, I think. Five diamonds, six clubs, seven hearts. Dealers straight. But like, where where would we use that? Somewhere else maybe entirely? I kind of don't, I don't know about this game. It's a little dull with no audio, 90% <laughs> of the time, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Cock and now balls. Balls too. So, I don't know. Is there anything that you guys notice? Oh, what? Why did that? Okay. Catch them both before they shatter. Okay, so click on both glasses. We already got that, though. So we got another another card. So that's seven. Dog. He's dead. Can we leave yet? Uh, There was a door. Like, before. How do we... How do we get out of here? Um, he'd die. Seven of dog. <laughs> the sticky keys beep every time you tab in and out keeps jump scaring me. I wonder if there's a way I can, uh, I wonder if there's a way I can stop that. Sorry about that. How, how do we get out of here? You can turn on auto capture. I think if you turn on auto mouse capture, it won't beep. But I think it is on auto capture because when I click into the window, it automatically starts capturing the mouse. Um, how how do I leave? Where is the fucking door, man? Apparently, if you set auto lock feedback equals to none in the STL section of the config file, it stops. Don't know if there's a GUI way to do it. Click STL in the config manager and see if it's there. Okay. Auto lock feedback beep. Okay, none. Definitely not flash. Whoops. Um. Okay. Save. All right. That should. That should. No. It apparently, <laughs> apparently did not fix it. Why? Auto lock feedback none. Might need to restart. I really don't want to do that. So sorry. Because I don't know how to save this game. Can I? Control S doesn't do anything. And there's also there's no not in like in in gadget you could manually save by putting your mouse up here that does not appear. I kind of don't want to take the chance of it like uh 
of it like not saving our progress honestly how do i get out of here how do i how do i escape this fucking place All right, we just we we reversed the paintings. So did that change anything? Like we reversed the painting here. Can I like does that make a door appear or something? Sorry about the beep. I can't I can't stop it. Like, if it's very annoying to you, I'm sorry, but I just, I can't do anything about it without restarting the entire program, apparently. I changed the option and nothing happened. Um. Mm, how do we get out of here? Nah. I guess I have to look up a walkthrough just to get out of the painting. Interesting, interesting gameplay because I just cannot escape. Great. Gameboomers.com Um, flashlight. If you don't pick up the flashlight, you can exit the room to the atelier. Okay, T to exit room, click on exit sign near text tennis player. Okay, what? I guess that makes sense, but what the fuck? I never would have thought to do that. Let's get out of this nudity room. I guess I have to be facing it head on. I guess that makes sense in a way. All right, now the door has appeared. Let's get out of here, the nude painting room. Okay, thank God we, we survived. Where are we now? Is this the, the same room? Okay, yeah, that's the desk. Who's this little boxer man? What? What? <laughs> Why? Why did that happen? Chat. Oh yeah. Ooh, kiss from a rose. Oh no, it's shriveling up. <laughs> uh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the fucking spyglass is so funny. Oh, there's a card. We got another one. Tears to smile. Tears, seers, stars. Tears turn into a smile. Yeah, we already solved that puzzle. So these are hints. These are definitely hints, all of them. Um just just hanging out normal. Globe, yes. Great. <laughs> it's okay, Twitch. It's art. Please don't ban me. It's artistic. This game probably won some kind of awards or something. Oh. 
Uh, wait. I'm not understanding, like, we, we keep, like, going between places in a way that I'm not really, like, understanding. She clicked on it. Hey, it could have had a card. It's not my fault. This guy seems to just teleport us between different parts of the room. When you click on various parts of him. Is there a call? Like, is there anything to do with this? Like, or is this just for fun? It's like a strange that this game is kind of straddling being strictly multimedia, like art, and also having this sort of like gamey kind of like find the cards thing going on. When I was a kid and bored out of my mind, in any given art gallery in Europe, my mom would tell me to just go around and count every dick in the museum. <laughs> uh, uh, what was the highest count? He's a member of Gachot's species, yes. It's the same guy. This guy is like a cardinal? Yes, yeah, very fancy. Mister. Your Paul Klee clothing. Is that what the guy's name is? The, the, the kiss? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Why does that just go back out here? Yeah. Very fancy chap. <sighs> the one time I went to a museum, there was a painting that was my f a face made out of dicks. That's my <laughs> museum story. Amazing. Amazing. I used to do that when my mom would take me to galleries, but of my own volition and because my GBA's batteries were dead. Gustav Klimt. Who was I? Who's Paul Klee then? Who am I? Why did I think of that? Who, he's a painter as well, right? All right, guess there's nothing here. But why does clicking on the book take us out of the painting when clicking to the side seems to work as well? Ah. Cool. Hey, this is pretty good. This must be charcoal. Whoa. <laughs> Stage? Oh yeah? <laughs> oh my god! Uh... <laughs> Good grief! <laughs> Are we really allowed to play this on Twitch? Are we gonna have to take this to the Discord stream? This seems a bit much. There's a lot of nudity. <laughs> this is art. It's listed. Oh, it's listed? It's a listed game? Really? Really? It's not TOS. <laughs> no, to be fine. Oh. <laughs> it keeps shocking me. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I saw one painting when I was testing it. I saw one painting when I was testing it uh, that had full frontal nudity, and I was like, oh my god, that must be the only instance of that in the game. <laughs> no, apparently not. Uh, bunny tail mirror. 197, what does that say? 1990, I don't know. 1917? But it's this game was made in the like the 90s. 1991? <sighs> Swimming? Oh, Perrier. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> Interesting. Uh... <laughs> Oh. 
Why did that? Why does that stop and send me elsewhere? Was there anything in this? Oh. Oh yeah. This is this is pretty Freudian, gotta say. Um. Uh, okay, that takes us back to this painting, but clicking outside of it takes us to this painting. Okay, now we have a spyglass spinning around. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, sound effects. Yeah, imagine. Imagine if there were more sound effects in this game. The fact that we got a penis is amazing enough, honestly. Yeah, few games will go that far. There's a toggle for the saboteur that makes all the nipples visible, and that's allowed. What? <laughs> why, why are there nipples in the saboteur? Uh, maybe this game came out before ESRB ratings, so I wonder if that maybe had something to do with it. I wonder what this game would get rated if it came out, uh, since then. Uh, let's see. Well, let's try going through a door. Yeah? Looks like Kingsfield now. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Alice, yes. Is there anything? This is like a hidden object game. It's very, very odd. Why, why does it look like this? And what just, what just happened? Huh? That took me through into a different room? What? What's going on? I guess we can just walk through here. Dear, dear. <laughs> I really love the, this time period how they often like uh, take like paintings or photos and like chop them up and move them around like that. Kuniyoshi Kaneko, best known for his paintings and drawings of women in bondage. Really? <laughs> oh, Skeleton Witch also. All the nipples are visible. It was a pre-order bonus, if I remember right. That's a very, very different time. This stream in honor of Robert Yang. Yeah. Our hero. Tim Heidecker used to do the ESRB voice? Really? <laughs> really? Hey, it's Graffy's house. This is kind of, kind of similar. Yeah, they banned Robert Yang's games like a, a while ago. Your startup background looking a little different. Oh yeah. <laughs> I do keep getting surprised that Graphy's model doesn't have monochrome white skin. Why? I think I remember hearing that. Oh. Graphy, I'm hungry. Hungry. Can you make me porridge? Of course. How do you like it? Prepare it. Drink? This game is uh, not being very kind to my, my wrist, unfortunately, because of all the very small things to click on. Oh, she became big. She looks like a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> 
or like a lamp or a vase or something. Great. Overhand tosses a porridge over Atlantic. I mean, in most drawings, you're just white, like your Twitch avatar. I mean, in the in the emotes, and I guess most of my drawings are monochrome, like, or just black and white sketches, so. I like it a little thicker with a spoonful of set honey mixed in. What is set honey? <clears throat> Bowling pin, yes. Indeed. Oh. What's for dinner? Menu. Alice's restroom. Spiny rock lobster and filet of beef with sauce a l'américaine. Lobster quadrille. Shrimp with tapioca consomme. Consomme? Is that how you say that? Styled on Lohengrin. Fried north shrimp with black olives. To the taste of Pia Anjali. Japanese king shrimp. Bouillabaisse? Bouillabaisse? How do you say that? Bouillabaisse? As served by Lobster Kitchen. Shrimp risotto. Styled on the Twelve Apostles. Guacamole salad a la tropical. To the taste of Dorothy Lamour. Shiba shrimp in cheese with onions. To the taste of Orpheus. Japanese king shrimp with muscat sauce and salmon roe. To the taste of Socrates. Prawn curry as served in Indian restaurants. Braised shrimp with herbs. Styled on Kelvin. Kelvin? What? Well, this must be a puzzle. Yeah? What? Check? Thank you. What? <laughs> what? Like opaque, thick honey rather than clear and runny. I've never even heard of this before. Hmm. I wanted the curry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. Am I supposed to like do something? <sighs> oh. Hey, the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Hearts. Okay, we have nine cards now. Lobster quadrille. The main course is lobster quadrille. On the table after eating, a knife and fork. Okay, so we want to put the lobster on the table and then click on the knife and fork. Mm -hmm. Is this a bib? Like torn to shreds? Hmm. Let's try...
click that and then click the fish when it jumps in. Nope, nothing to be done there. I don't understand. I don't know. Hey, Benji, how are you doing? Fisk. Yeah, it's yep. Fish, I'm okay. I'm just slippy. Oh, are you going to bed soon? Are you winning? I don't know. I don't know if I like this game, honestly. That's pretty good. Finally, some music. I'm going to bed soon. Hope you sleep well when you do. There's not much game here, being honest. Yeah, I mean, I think that this this should have gone either in the direction of more of just an like a interactive art museum or just the game. Like as it is, I feel like it's kind of frustrating when you're trying to achieve like the goal of the game which is getting all the cards but it's just kind of like oh just click on everything just click on everything maybe you'll find it eventually oh Is an armadillo? Oh. Well, let's go after it. I I suppose. Was this pre or post gadget? This was like four years before gadget. Windows 3 era NFT. <laughs> it's not really as engrossing as Eastern Mind or Gadget. Yeah. Uh, it's... It's... I don't know. The whole thing of having to click on all these tiny little things on the screen is pretty fucking annoying. Oh, we are soup. Yeah, that is the solution to the puzzle that we already solved. <sighs> yeah? <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Is there something to be done with these little guys? I guess not. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Cool! <laughs> it's the loud drawer. Wow, a buddy. Freaky bunnies. That music was pretty good. There's a bit of a toy box feel to this. A lot of early PC games were like that. Like that Tom and Jerry DOS game. Yeah, and like uh, Manhole and uh, Spelunks. Stuff like that. <sighs> Can we do anything once we are here? I guess not. Strange. Um, this drawer doesn't open. And like, is is this guy supposed to do something? I don't know. I simply don't know.
Pomegranate? Nothing? I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe time to start following a walkthrough. I'm not really having fun. <laughs> I thought this game might be like a little more fun to engage with, but I kind of am not feeling it. But I also want to see, I want to see what the ending is like of this game. And I want to see more stuff in it, but I don't want to be clicking everything like at, at like willy nilly because it is really it's it's causing me like uh hand pain and also giving me that threading a needle feeling that <laughs> brings the stream to a screeching halt at times um meh. i don't know yeah i'm just gonna start following a guide No, oh, I don't want to update Firefox. Please leave me alone. Just leave me alone. You can exit the game by using Control Q, something that the game never tells you, of course. Because why would it? Why would it? Okay, first room A, the Vase of Roses. So let's go back there if we can. How do we How do we get back? Do you like pomegranates? You know, I think I've only had a pomegranate like one time and I I, I was not that into it. They're kind of annoying to eat. Maybe I just don't know how to eat them correctly or something. Oh, this is a different hallway than before. <laughs> this this mouse <laughs> is very very good drawing. Is this like charcoal animation? Cool. Oh, we already saw that. Don't need to see it again. Mouse. Mouse. Is this where we just came from or I think we're on the outside hallway now. Huh? Where is K underscore B17B dot dir? What? Yeah, this is the problem I was having that one time. Um, what? <laughs> what? Is this just, like, broken? Great. Well, at least the game didn't crash. Very strange. I wonder if that's, like, a bug in the game or something. Ugh. Yeah, same. This is always happening to me. Did we miss a picture? I think there's only three in this hallway. <clears throat> we can't do anything with this window. It's very strange that the graphics out here, they almost look like they're real-time graphics, but I don't think they are. They take a long time. I eat one over the course of several days. Wow! <laughs> Uh, you either love to disassemble it, or you hate it. This is some nice music right here. Not bad. Finally, some music. This is going to give me strange dreams, yeah. It's an interesting game. I've never actually had one now that I think about it. I've been thinking about them because they're they are in Hades as like an item you can collect. So I've been thinking about pomegranates a little bit. A lot of people used to put it in drinks too. 
You've heard of Alexander Petrov, right? The guy who paints every frame by hand. Famous to that one Coca-Cola Christmas ad. I don't know. Maybe I've seen it, but uh, it doesn't sound familiar to me. Um, let's try and get back to the initial room, and I I can't turn I can't turn right in this room. Uh, I wanna I wanna get back to the the first room and just try to find no this is where we came from. All right, so now I can turn right. All right, I think that if we I can't turn right anymore though. Why? Okay. This is just a specific spot on the screen. So let's go... I, I, I guess we can't go through here? Um, How do we get back to the first room then? Because I think that leads to the hallway that we used to get to the, the restaurant or the dinner place. What's this? <laughs> Horrible. Is that a pig? A small pig human? That is just awful. Ugh. I want to keep going with this game because I feel like there's going to be something interesting. Yeah? You know, I I hate Alice in Wonderland. The game is interesting, but oh. Now we're just in a bar? I do kind of like how this game is like a like psychic like disconnected maze feeling to it. I don't know. I can't move. Oh, what? Where am I now? <laughs> God damn it. Seemed like the game was like not responding for a moment. Okay. Let's go through the door. I think this is adjacent to the first room that we were in. Or not? We'll come back here in time. Okay. We made it back to the first room. Okay. Come on, Alice is good. It's overrated, but it's important to the culture. I think it's just an overexposure thing, maybe. That's me, when I watch your stream. What, that little pig baby? What's our card status? We have nine cards right now. I'm gonna be following a guide from here on out. So, it says, first room, there's an ace in the vase of roses. But where is that? Like, strange potions, drink me, don't drink me. Wait, did we already get that one? I wish there was a way to... No, I think we have that card, because I remember seeing the card that said, drink me, don't drink me, very strange potions and two green bottles, so we have that. I wish there was like a screen where you could check which cards you have. That would be nice. On the table, click on lamp and solve the puzzle. Entrance to the dark room appears, five cards. Yeah, so we got that. Um, apparently clicking on the dried roses and clicking on the butterfly when it lands, because you remember this, <laughs> this freaked out looking butterfly will fly away to the roses, and then apparently if you click on the, the butterfly when it lands, that will get us another card. Did that happen? Oh, there. Little checkered box. A spyglass looks out on the sea. A spyglass looking at spyglass looking out on the sea in the lighthouse window a painting okay click on the globe and then on the checkered box we already got that one dark room we already got the one the one in the dark room all the ones in the dark room um <clears throat> atelier on artwork table what's that Let's see if we can find atelier. What what is that? Like an art art workshop type of place? Where does this lead to? 
I guess nowhere. Maybe this is where we came in from. Sometimes the ways to get from screen to screen are uh, not not quite obvious. I don't know. The promotion for the Resident Evil movies loved making passive references to Alice and Wonderland because the main girl that was made specifically for the films was named Alice. Uh. They used that Jefferson Airplane song? Ugh. Art workshop is exactly how I would define atelier. Okay, good to know. So I think that might be through here. So let's go down this hallway. No, don't turn around. I want to go down the hallway. I guess we look at these paintings on the way. Not paintings, charcoal drawings. <sighs> This is the Mock Turtle, I believe, who's always crying, if I remember correctly. She looks like she's like tweening with the breeze in her hair. Well, is that like a durian? It seems like clicking the very edge of the screen does not work always. Okay, this, okay, there's a place here that says tea room. So I think this is, this is the tea room. But where's the atelier? This game is opaque and thick. If I tried to drink it, I would choke. <laughs> yeah. Is this YMO? I don't know. I don't know. Click on bush and then on clock in picture to the left. Okay. We click on George Bush. Oh. Then in clock on the picture to the left. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this is a funny painting. I wonder if these are actual digitized paintings. Like, I don't think that you could do this kind of stuff easily, like in a digital painting at the time, right? Hmm? Click on bush and then on clock in the picture to the left. Okay, so maybe I have to... Summon the bush, then click on the painting. Yeah, okay, so now there's hands on the clock in the painting. Oh. Mad Tea Party. Dormouse, Hatter, and March Hare. At six begins the tea party. At the strike of six, it ends. Okay. <laughs> click on smoke from the pipe. I guess we'll just look for that. I think that's this this picture. Maybe not. Oh, this is smoke from the pipe. Alice's bar. The other door to the bar. Silk hat wrapped in smoke. Silk hat to silk hat. Tea party to bar counter. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Click on big smoke. Rat. I'm pretty sure these are... Yeah, paintings. Can you imagine making all these damn paintings and charcoal drawings? One guy doing that for this game? Apparently this was a big hit in Japan. I don't know about uh, internationally, but... Okay. Click on clock above the door. We will click on clock above the door. That was That was pretty cool. I gotta say. Leaves of green. Click on clock above the door. Oh. Hey. Now we're talking. 
leaves of green, spreading leaves of green, spreading bows of green, boughs of green. The clock hands start to spin around. Okay. We have gained heart. Oh. Now we're in a completely different room? Oh, this must be the, uh, the atelier. On the artwork table. No. This is, like, a completely different room. A matchstick? <laughs> cool. Razor? I feel like most likely we have to click these in some specific order. It's kind of cool to see all these uh, full, like, gigantic size, though. Um... Yeah. It's a little hard to follow the walkthrough because it's Huh? Whoa. What was that? What was that? Alice as rabbit, beyond a door closed tight, Alice in a rabbit skin, hand in hand, with a bony hand. That was cool as fuck! I don't think we can do it again, can we? Oh, we can! That's Guro! Cool! We found it! We found a card! Um... I want to go back to the tea room. Whoa. This music is beautiful. Oh, this is like a photography room. Gleam. Oh. Whoa. Wing. Hmm. I don't know. Swirl de tempo. What is this going to do? Camera? Huh? <laughs> oh. We placed that? We combined something with a background and placed it in here? What? <laughs> okay. This game is, like, fascinating. Like, if it weren't for the cards... It was very interesting.
like in a way it almost reminds me of something like goblet grotto or something where it's like you have all these odd spaces that are connected by just like very strange unexpected kind of like relationships between the spaces at times i don't know <laughs> what He has abilities. He controls the jawbreakers. <laughs> Venus, yes. There was there was Venus. Maybe can we not open the window and then enter the painting? What is this room? It looks cool. These repeating shapes are fantastic. Hmm. We need ladder. A ladder extends up into the sky. A hand reaches out and off falls Alice's slipper. Beheading. Off with her head. Off with her head. The Red Queen orders a beheading, flickering flames in the fireplace. Okay. Shards of glass, an egg born of fire, hovers in the air, shatters, scatters, cuts like shards of glass. Outdoors. Pools of tears, then off into the woods and back for a dip in the pool of tears. Tears. Pool of tears, then off to the woods and back for a dip in the pool of tears. A uh, combination lock, huh? Yeah, I'm not going to have much luck with that right now, I don't think. This must be the combination, though, like four, four inputs or something. Who knows? Maybe the, maybe the combination is like the cards that are described by those hints or something. Did I miss another fucking penis? Come on. <laughs> Where do you keep going? I can't exactly blame you for not looking like at this at this game without without uh, any lapse of attention. Oh. I love this 3D. Yeah, the 3D the 3D in this game is really cool. The artwork like even though I can respect it, it's kind of like a different it's like a different flavor of like painting than I would normally be interested in. Like, uh, you know, it has that very, like, 80s new wave kind of feeling to it. Not exactly my favorite thing. <sighs> okay, don't know what to do there. Where Where are we now? Is this, is this the art studio? Or, like, <sighs> what is this room? I would like to go back to the tea room, if I may. Okay, we just came out of this door. That leads to the photo room. What is this? There's like a strong focus on like hair in this room and like like uh cutting hair, combing, brushing. Oh. Alice Ink? His shirt says M-I-C. Michael something, maybe? Scissors? I don't- I don't know. <sighs> I am- I am just stumped. So... How how would we get back 
to where we were before. What did that... Oh, that changes which mirror is in front and which mirror is behind? Does that change something else in the room? Or... No? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Staring at this game like the clockwork orange guy will have an effect on you. I can't stand the eyebrows. What? In the paintings? I think they look kind of cool. Stretch and hydrate. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ilya. Ah! Uh, the water splashed down in the bottom of my water bottle and it splashed in my face. Uh, this game is putting me in a fugue state. Yeah, you and me too. You and me both. I can't believe Ilya did this. Yeah, Ilya. How could you do this? Queen? Yes. What? Okay, we got four of clubs. Red Alice. Blue bottle and red. Blue writing and red. Blue Alice turns into Alice in red. Blue bottle and red. Blue writing and red. Blue bottle and red. Blue writing and red. Blue what? Blue bottle and red. Blue bottle and red. Blue writing and red. Blue writing and red. Red lips, perhaps? Ah. Seems like we might be getting somewhere. Ah, there we go. Slipper. Let go the slipper. Escape the hand. Catch the slipper and climb the ladder. Eggshell scattered over the flagging on with the slipper and off to the pool. I, I feel so helpless. I feel so foolish. This can turn on light. New grounds for... I couldn't read that. Okay, comb, matchstick, puff. Is there like a specific order? Huh? Rose petals. We saw a hint about this earlier, I believe. Okay. So the rose petals have scattered, and now she's appeared in the mirror. But what does that mean? It's still just this gore and the skeleton hands. With that, like, creepy ambient audio. <sighs> Newgrounds 4. What? <laughs> oh, I see. I see now. Nice tea. Another crime in the paste bin. Yeah, we're gonna get your ass, Ilya.
Okay, this is a music puzzle. I'll just use the guide for that one, thanks. Ah. Turn this on, then turn this on, no? <sighs> ah, I feel so frustrated by this. This goes to the this goes to the photography room. Where did this door go to? I forgot. Oh, yeah, it goes here, which we can't get anywhere from here. Man, this is so frustrating. All right, how do we get how did we get back to we somehow made it back to the initial room? Through here. Was it, did we go through this door? I, I forget where this leads. No, <laughs> this just goes back to the photography room. Ah! No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, I don't want to do that. Just let me go. <clears throat> Was it through the camera? This vibe reminds me of Juggernaut. Yeah, I think somebody was mentioning Juggernaut earlier. It does kind of have, you know, that feeling. That feel when. Oh my god, what do I do? Just, please, give me a fucking sign. This is... Door? Nothing is happening. Clicking on everything, nothing happens. <sighs> this is starting to set my brain off as well. What does that mean? Set your brain off? Like the threading a needle thing. Yeah, imagine playing it. Like clicking on all this tiny stuff. This is very frustrating. Ugh. We, okay, we clicked on this before at some point and we were able to get off of this screen, but like what, what did it? Like what, what made it possible? I don't remember. Man. <sighs> there's there's too many places in this game where like you click on something and it's like totally unclear how how to like get out of it. You saw yourself in the mirror or something. Yeah, I remember that, but didn't we just click on the mirror? Did I break something? Maybe me clicking really rapidly is like bugging out the game. I'll just give it a second to to catch up maybe. Because I feel like sometimes when I was clicking rapidly on stuff in this game, it would start to feel kind of laggy. So maybe it's like each click cues some kind of like evaluation of like the mouse click or something in Macromedia Director. And that makes it so it's nothing responds until that clicks like catches up or something. I don't know. Clicking rapidly causes issues in director. Great. It gets interpreted as a bunch of double clicks. Oh, great. And there hasn't been any double clicking in this game, really. I mean, nothing's, nothing's happening. I might have to quit the game. I might have to quit the game and just open it back up. And, uh, okay, control Q works. But, like, how did, how, like, why can we not exit this screen? Like, what is the problem? 
it seems like a deadly trap to click on this at all. Like, I guess we have no choice but to quit the game, which I guess means that we should probably restart DOSBox so, uh, so we can hope that it won't beep like it was beeping on the, the mouse uh, toggle. Yeah, okay, so that's fixed. Um, all right, let's, the working directory is invalid, that's right. I have to uh, mount the the ISO, not oh, a disk or CD image file. Yeah, great. So I don't know if our progress is like saved or not. It's I just don't know. Let's let's try and get back to the tea room, and resume from there. And we'll just go on the assumption that our progress is saved, and just hope. Hope that it is. All right, this is the tea room. Um, click on the clock above the door. Yeah. Click on the clock. Click to open. Click on the bottom of the clock where the back meets the left side. Okay. Click on the clock. Click to open. Is there no save feature? Not as far as I know. This guide only says control Q quits. And I was looking earlier, um, or last night, I was looking up if there was a save feature or how to activate it. And I found a website that said, you simply quit the game. And when you come back, you simply continue looking for more cards. So maybe it auto saves? I don't know. Very strange. I really preferred gadget where you had like discrete save files. That's better in my opinion than like maybe maybe it saves i don't know click to open click on bottom of clock where the back meets the left side ah sure click on the key wind the clock till the door closes Click on the pendulum to start swinging, and then click on the six. Uh, four. Silk hats. The hatter is silk hat. Silk hat on a table. Silk hat floating up and down. The fourth silk hat. Wrapped in smoke. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Is that... I mean, it seems to be talking about the hat on the table here. Crazy early for a game to have autosave. I'm wondering, I don't know, I guess we'll just keep going on the assumption that it does have autosave, and if it doesn't, then we know which ones we gotta collect again and where they are. How are you supposed to find that normally? <laughs> I don't know, probably some clue that you get somewhere else. Um, I guess we... Oh. Pictures? It's those charcoal pictures flying out. On the fourth silk hat wrapped in smoke. What? Oh. Alright, well we're in the bar, and that's the next section of the walkthrough until we find the atelier. Um In the three pictures on the wall, turn on the lights first. Turn on the lights first? Lights? These lights? Why? I, I can't, like, move. And nothing that you would think you could click on is uh, resulting in anything happening. Did the game freeze? No. Okay. Uh... What? Uh, 
I I don't know. You know, I really wish there was a button you could press to highlight everything on the screen that you can click on. Like, do you remember? I think it was in Flash. If you press Tab, it would highlight everything you could click on, like in the Flash game. I really, really wish that we had that <laughs> in Macromedia Director games. Uh, it would be pretty useful. Uh... It seems like I just can't do anything in the bar. So... <sighs> Where... Where are we now? All right, we're still in the tea room. How do we get to the bar? I guess we didn't look at this painting. This is the one that I saw and I was like, I have to prepare like a sensor to go over this because I mean, oh, yeah. All right, and then there was tons of nudity. Right click play to skip every puzzle. I didn't realize you could do that. I also remember some flash games would scream or you if you hit tab, that's terrible. I <laughs> loved cheating at flash adventure games. I miss, I miss flash sometimes. I remember when games would bind functions to flash to stop you cheating. That was cheating. I'm fine with cheating. <laughs> to tab. Ah, oh, I see. That's bullshit. What's what's in this door? Oh, this goes outside. No? Appar apparently not. <laughs> uh, I I feel so frustrated by this game. This is where we came in. I'm pretty sure. So this is the only other door out of here. If we click on this, yeah, it goes to this, which will lead to the room with all of the the comb and all that stuff. And I think that we were. We were able to go to the bar from this room, unless I'm mistaken. Hopefully the game doesn't like lock up again. Oh. <sighs> oh I clicked on it once. What? Okay, that turns the light off. What is with the lights in this room? Let's try this again. I believe we were able to go to the bar. Okay, this time it didn't lock up. This is kind of creepy. So like a puddle? <laughs> cool. Nice ray tracing. Okay, rose petals gently fall and the rose petals and with them down comes Atlas. Okay. Weren't we... I remember we somehow got to the bar from this room, didn't we? I feel like I remember that.
it's dragon lore one out there <laughs> it really is bird this is where you need the rifle that's the bird from galahad that takes you by surprise um let's let's look in the guide for the restaurant okay back wall first picture click on fork and then on fish back wall first picture what is back wall Click on fork, and then on fish. Maybe it's this is a different painting. Sugar cube. Nipple. Okay. Huh? On plate. Rabbit sommelier. Huh? So I guess there's nothing in this painting as far as... Uh... <sighs> as far as cards go. Okay, on plate. On plate? Oh, that must be it. Rabbit sommelier. Wine labels and long-eared sommelier. Wine list. And Alice's own wine cellar. Okay. Does anything else happen here? Roses. Um, what is this picture? Egg. Oh yeah, this is that. <laughs> huh? And now this is animated. It looks like a. Like Hieronymus Bosch or something. Alright. Click on fork. What? Then on fish. Huh? Picture, click on fork, and then fish. Okay, I think that we already got the, the thing where it's lobster quadrille. So that might be a different painting that they're talking about. We already looked at those other ones. Okay, the one with the propeller. Click on shirt and then again to stop. Then click again to stop. Okay. We've already seen this one. The recurring villain, even in the final boss room. Wait, really? <laughs> the birds even come in the final boss room if you don't move? Did your reflection just transform to lady? Yeah, I kind of... It seems like... I, it seems almost like there's maybe some gender going on here, but I'm not sure. It's kind of like unclear. I don't I don't know. I feel like there's some kind of there's something going on. There's like some kind of story. But I'm not sure. <sighs> going on in this. Yes. This whole thing smacks of gender. As I overturn the barbecue, turning the 4th of July into the 4th of shit. Sacred fish. Three fish and three paintings. The sacred fish that eats nuts. The sacred fish that is speared. The sacred fish that turns into a card. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Now, order lobster and eat. Click on knife and fork. Click on man twice to get concierge. Alright, we want to look at the menu. So, lobster quadrille. Um, which looks absolutely disgusting, by the way. Like, that- this looks foul. Okay. Click on the knife and fork. Alright. The concierge appears. Now we sign the check, and it says, click on the small rabbit at the bottom of the check. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, that's what we needed to do. Fruit figure, a picture of cherries on a blue shirt. With, with the cherries spin, with the cherries stop. Okay, that's a hint. All right, so we got all of them in that room. <sighs> so... Where does this go? This goes back to that hallway, so we don't want to go this way. 
Let's go back in. Do we know where this door goes to? I think there's... Are there two doors in this room? I don't think so, because I think the opposite wall of the, the table has got three paintings and no doorways. No, there is a door. What is in here? Have we been in here yet? Uh... Okay, this goes back to the Kingsfield hallway, which goes back to the main room. Let's see where we can get to uh, from from here, the, the, the dining area. We'll go into this door, because I don't think we've gone in here yet. Did we look at this painting? Conscious. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Pretty cool. Good Streamlabs donation message. Why would you put the sauce on the shell? You can't eat that. I guess for presentation or something? The faces are very androgynous. Yeah, it's kind of like everybody is kind of drawn with like the same face. Hello. Nethysum is approaching with 17 creatures. <laughs> Hello, Nethysum. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Hey, Andy. How's it going? What are you playing today? Thank you for the raid. 17 creatures. Yeah, I really like that voice. <laughs> Andy recommended you. Thank you, Andy. Um, I'm Graphite. I play a lot of adventure games and sometimes other kinds of games. You were Dark Souls 3 and cool. Hope you were having fun. You playing that because you're excited for Elden Ring later this week? Oh, now we're in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> we're playing Alice, an interactive museum from 1991. Um, it says to look at the the egg painting. Where's that? Is this the egg painting? No, these are all pomegranates. Kinda. If I'm honest, I've paid little attention to Elden Ring, but I may well check it out in the next month or so. <laughs> it's a magnificent painting. Yeah, this game is all about paintings. I kind of keep going back and forth on like whether I am like excited for Elden Ring or not. Like I keep being completely over it and then being really excited for it again. Okay, this is the egg painting. So right hand, right hand, left hand. Pull the thread three times each and then pull the thread three times each and then three times three. What? Okay, Peony, oh, thank Peony you for the follow. Now trapped like a rat. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Pull the thread three times each and then three times three. What does that mean? Nethysim is now trapped like a rat. Thank you for the follow. Palm egg ranthes. This is 91? That's like the same time as those 320 by 200 LucasArts games, huh? What do you mean? Ah, here we go. Thank you. Mwah. I believe this is 91. What uh what are the 320 by 200 LucasArts games? I haven't really played too many LucasArts things except for I played Day of the Tentacle to the finish. That was a, that's a good game. The egg has opened. Yeah, we got a card from it. Turtle soup. A great pot of bubbling turtle soup. Down at the bottom, the mock turtle lurks. Yeah, we did. We went into the soup pot, remember? Um, <clears throat> picture with animal heads. Click on bowl and then turn the tiles. Is this picture with animal heads? Yes, I would say this is picture with animal heads. So click on the bowl. Click on the bowl. 
and then turn the tiles. Turn the tiles? Turn the tiles? Ah. Ah, here we go. Ariadne. Hey, that's like the thread from Etrian Odyssey. Is that where they got this from? Ariadne? Right hand, left hand, pull the thread. Three times each and three times three. Okay. <clears throat> well, this is higher res and more modern feeling. Like 91 is before mystery. Let me check real quick to make sure that I'm not giving you uh, wrong information. Because Gadget was 95. Um, oh, this is 94. No, no, no. But wait, Wikipedia says 91. What? What's what's the truth here? No, it says it was published back in 1991. So this does predate Mist, seemingly interesting. Huh? I mean, I guess it's possible that Wikipedia is wrong again and that Hardcore Gaming 101 got their wrong information from Wikipedia. Cuz Hardcore Gaming 101 is Sometimes not the most reliable source. <laughs> okay, adventuregamers.com says 94. Huh? Let's look at Moby Games. Moby Games says 91 too. It's the th thread from Seisha. What is that? It's the myth of Theseus. Oh. She had the idea to leave a thread behind in the labyrinth the Minotaur was in. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. So that's where that comes from. Unsurprisingly, I found Graffy from her playing Shenmue. Yeah, we are Shenmue fans here. We're big Shenmue heads. Yeah, Mist was 93. Uh, hmm. Day of the Tentacle was several years after this for comparison. Wow. I guess they're, they're very different kind of games. It's just high res and more modern feeling. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's the power of Macromedia Director. And maybe uh, this was a Windows game. And probably the LucasArts games were like DOS. Maybe. 91 in Japan, 94 elsewhere. Ah, I see. I see. Hardcore Gaming lied about Asterix and the Great Rescue. I can never trust them again. The items will not help you. <laughs> uh. Okay, so this was 91. This is before Mist. I wonder I wonder if this was influential on on Mist. I wonder. Interesting. A CD-ROM 3D point and click game with this kind of sense of mystery. Hmm. Seisha are a screamo band. Ah, I see. Interesting. Did you start Shenmue 3 yet, Graffy? You know, I did I did play it for like two hours or so last weekend, and I'm sorry, but I re I really did not like it. I'm so, I I feel very bad, but I just I didn't I didn't like a single thing about it. <laughs> I don't know. I I want to continue playing it, but it was such a bummer. Uh, I was so disappointed, man. <sighs> I get it though. Yeah, it's. Eh. <laughs> It was just it, coming right off of having finished Shenmue 2 it like it just pales in comparison so much. Uh, click on the bottle and then on the knife to cut an exposed card. Okay, click on the bottle. Okay, so the bottle somehow gets rid of the pomegranate. All right, we got the card from the cake. Cheshire Cat's Woods, Little Woods in a little woods. Cheshire Cat can have little of woods inside a drawer. In the night forest, the Cheshire Cat lives. We did find that, but we found the cat, but all it did was meow or make that weird noise. We didn't get a card from that. So, uh, okay. Carrot picture by door. Carrot picture by door. Click on the little chef and click on angel. Click on little chef. And click on angel. Okay. Pomegranate. Bottles on a table. Filled with the fruit of a pomegranate. The knife cuts the cake. Okay, that's the hint for the thing that was on the table. What is this? 
fresh vegetables just on the floor that you can't do anything with. <sighs> These men covered in lobsters. I wonder what's with the lobster. Like it feels like lobsters have been like have come up a few times in this game so far. I don't know if there's some kind of like symbolism going on. Uh oh. Oh. Game was waiting for me to click on the painting again. So that the lobsters could uh, crawl out everywhere, I guess. <clears throat> People probably scrambled after the success of Mist to find any games that look similar to it and bring it to the US market. I mean, that's probably, probably what happened. I can imagine. Trapdoor? Uh, where does this go? Dungeon? <laughs> Dungeon? Oh, wine cellar. Mostly just a signifier of luxury on a surface level at least. I guess so. Wasn't... They were like a budget food at one point though, right? Wasn't there... I wonder when... When did lobsters start to be considered like a delicacy? Um, okay, so we have plenty of bottles of wine here, probably some specific bottle I have to click on. Ah, uh, in box, cheese and knife, the light of candle flickers on the wall, a silhouette appears and the cheese knife moves. Alox Corton is the collective designation for wines from the commune of Alox Corton in Cote de Bon. I, I fucking, I can't pronounce this shit. It says, it has five, diamond five. So. In box. So one of the cards, oh, hello. One of the cards may be in one of these boxes. Perhaps? <sighs> I'm so stumped. Lobster becoming rich people food probably went hand in hand with New York becoming the financial center of the world. I wonder. I wonder. Okay. Uh, wine bottle on floor. Apparently, has one of the cards. Okay. Napa Valley Champagne. <laughs> it gained renown because wait, <laughs> it gained renown because former President Ronald Reagan likes it too. In fact, we like it too. Guys who made this game Reaganites. Sir Winston Churchill. Okay. I'm not reading all that shit. I'm not reading all this French shit. Ah, there we go. Wine list. Vin Blanc, Vin Rouge, and Champagne. The sommelier selects 12 bottles of wine. Okay. Uh, hmm. Candles. Light candles. Then click on knife. Then on crack and cheese until opening and wall is complete. Then click on the man twice. Oh, okay. Light the candles. Cool. Hey. Hey. Now we're getting somewhere. This is pretty good. Uh, click on the knife and then on the crack and the cheese. <laughs> Hello. Okay, another card. Wine cellar and atelier. From cellar to atelier. Atelier to cellar. Bottle to atelier. Page to cellar. Interesting. Don't know what that means yet. Yes. I haven't seen much of this game, but it's already a trip. Yes, it's a very surreal game. I think that I saw somebody comparing it to like, uh, 
René Magritte paintings, which I can see the comparison. I guess not really the biggest surrealism fan, but I don't I don't dislike it either, I guess. Shares some cheese with a shadow man. It's always nice. Share a little cheese. <laughs> the little sommelier. You have summoned sommelier. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to say using the guide has reduced my frustration quite a bit with this game. Um, Let's see. Picture of chef juggling bottles. Cat? Cat? Kato? Ka ka what? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just the painting. <sighs> A picture of the chef juggling bottles is where another one is. Oh. Hello. Wine list. Oh. It says, yeah, vin blanc, vin rouge, and champagne. So, vin rouge. There was champagne that Ronald Reagan liked or something like that, right? Is this just... I don't know. Let's look at this. Picture of chef juggling bottles. Click on a bottle and then on bottle again. Okay. Great. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, wine bottle. A chef concealed in a wall and in his hand a bottle of wine. From wine bottle to atelier. Okay. Great. Just I'm here just in time to hear Graffy speak French. Hell yes. I don't know any French at all. Hello, Pentomino. Welcome. Lobsters were called Claude Polies, like Roly Polies, until Sir Richard Lobster tried one at the behest of his head chef. He loved them so much, he demanded that everyone call them by his name. It stuck. Is that true? You... I... Is that real? No way. Why is it? Que... Que se... Que un bibliotec... Que se... Wait, que se... Que se... Que se... Que... Bibliotech? It's real. Graffy, you're so fucking moe. No, you guys are tricking me again. This is another trick. Mm. Ah. Stop tricking me. Roly poly bugs are in fact actually crustaceans, so I can see that being true. Wow. Like land crustaceans? That's interesting. In box. So apparently in one of these boxes is going to be... Oh, we can pull that one out. Okay, there's the card with the cheese knife hint on it. Um, so I think that we have all of the cards from the wine cellar now. Um, there are three endings to the game? What? Go through the French doors to his desk. Exit the room by turning on the TV. When you are done looking around, click on the rabbit. Oh, apparently there was a lot of stuff to do in uh, that initial room that was a photo. That was, I guess, the studio of the artist who did all the paintings? Uh, we didn't even get to look around in there that much. 
Huh. Atlas Law, Chaos, and Neutral <laughs> Endings. Uh. Roly-polies are mini versions of ocean, ocean isopods. They're very cute. Isopods are absolutely adorable. In Australia, we call them slaters. They were my favorite childhood bug. They're very cute. I, I like their, their shape and the way that their, um, their chitin has like the little notches between plates, like around their edges. They're, they're very adorable little guys. My day has been salvaged from that. Oh no. Were you not having a good day before? <laughs> Is this game making you miserable? Dark room. Oh yeah, we already did that. Uh it says it said that there was this extra card in the dark room, possibly. Dark room on the ceiling. Straight three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I guess we already got that though. Hmm. The website that this guide is hosted on is called Game Boomers. Alright, now we're back in the kitchen. Um, where else, where can we get to from here? There's like a few places we have not gone. Uh... This just goes back to the restaurant. Which is where there's also... It says restaurant. Uh, extra cards. Okay, restaurant. Picture of man behind table. Third, click on fork below and then wait until utensils fly upward and out of the picture. If this doesn't happen, try to click on one of the forks until... Wait, try to click on one of the forks while it is at the top. Okay. Kind of hard to click on them. Oh, there we go. Then exit the picture by clicking beside it to see knives and forks on the ceiling. Oh my. <laughs> click to see the king. Great. Ace of Hearts. Casino, poker, and a single painting. With the Ace of Hearts, a card turns. With the Ace of Hearts, a card stops. Ace of Hearts, two Joker turns. Great. I, I don't know. Don't get it. I don't know. <sighs> where where have we not gone? We've been to the restaurant, the kitchen, the wine cellar. We have all the cards there. Uh, photo studio. I guess... We haven't we haven't gotten any cards in the photo studio at all. Or the casino. I don't even know where the casino is. And how do we get to the bar? Also. Got all the cards in the tea room. And we don't know where the atelier is either. Let's, let's go to the photo room. Maybe maybe on the way we can somehow get to the bar or the atelier. Or the casino. Where are all these places? I just want to check real quick if there's uh, any other doors out of this room. Obviously redeemed. Oh. I thought it said redeemed moo for a second. Hello, pancake. Ah, another of these. Yes, it's it's one of these. It's by the same company that made Gadget, which we played on Wednesday. Same director. Um, I don't think we want to go this way, do we? So we came to this room through that hallway. Now, where does this go? I think this takes us over towards where the photo studio is, right? Yeah, this is the other hallway. It goes down here. Um, now, the photo studio is through here?
I think. Where does this go to? No. Do we wanna. Wait, did we come out of. Okay. Oh, now we're back in the room with the big. the, the shrub. Oh, man. Let's, let's go back through here. Uh, but now that only leads back to the mountains. <sighs> so I think we have, we have no option but to do this. And then this makes that card appear. And then we go back to the Salle de Co Coiffure. So is there a, a section for that? Apparently there's only one card in this room. So let's let's try and find the the photography room, which I think might be through this door. Possibly. Yes, all right. Muradim has to happen now. The people want it. Ooh. No, don't give in. If you do it then we'll beg for every animal noise ever. You guys already beg for me to oink. These being the juggling puzzles. I guess I'm a little behind. Ah, yes. The juggling puzzles. Not not, not so fun. Yes, I redeemed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please oink. What's this about a moo redeem? You missed it. You missed it. I have to pee really bad from all this coffee that I've been drinking, so I think I might need... Uh, a quick, a quick break. <clears throat> ah, thank you, Graffy. Anytime, Augersley. Um, yeah, I will, I will be back in just a moment. <clears throat> Hold on.
Hello, I'm back. Animal noises, how? Might need to draw oink redux graphy because of this. Oink redux? Oh no, there are actually four cards in the salle de coiffeur. Coiffeur. Let me extend this window a little bit more. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Get yeah, Monday 14. How? Put it as a bit emote and collect bucks. I still think gift subs should count towards bit emotes. <clears throat> Knowing Twitch, they would just make gift sub only emotes or something insane. Yeah, I, I could see that happening. I gotta adjust my clothing again because I'm cold now. I'm always too cold or too hot. It's so hard to get into this. Wink redux. Okay, we are in the photo studio. Close curtains. We close curtains. Click on white background, lower left. Click on the white background. Click on camera and compose a picture of a person on a background. Okay, compose a picture of a person on a white background. I like a oh, picture on a background. Okay, not just, it's just any background. I like this one because the ribbon is cool. So picture and the background. You know, let's go with these flowers. Who doesn't like flowers? <laughs> Click on the picture behind camera oh okay so we have to do uh specific combinations oh we did get one though okay so girl on flowers poker table to the poker table from heart to joker ace of hearts to rabbit joker and don't forget rabbit joker yeah i remember we clicked on this but where does this lead to? Uh, yeah, this painting. Very <laughs> interesting painting. Can we just do another photo? Or do we have to do this every time? Graphy, chat just needs to be given a C and say. What's that? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> For animal noises. Yes. Yeah, come on, please. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, reclining man on easel background. Cheese. We click on it. Get the five of clubs. Rabbit dial. Dealer's straight. Alice is royal straight flush. The Joker tells the number for the rabbit dial. Uh huh. So what is what is the deal with this though? Like what what do we gain from this picture? I guess nothing. Like the rabbit, we could get the rabbit to jump through the hoops, but and that was about it for that painting. <clears throat> You've brought this on yourself through too much kindness. Oh no. Oh no. That would be an amazing merch item. You could start a whole trend with that. What? VTuber speak and say? Speak and say? What is it called? See and say? I think we are gaining plenty from that <laughs> picture. <laughs> One day. Uh, standing man on sky. Cheese. 
all right four galleries four winding galleries leading one to the next spade and heart heart and club club and diamond diamond and spade uh, great don't really know what this all means girl and diamond on tree it's the last one come on i missed the lesbian bdsm Emma, wait, like, you always go away for the best parts of everything. You must have, like, an incredible sixth sense for these things. Alright, tree. Is this game technically an eeb like You know, it kind of does feel a bit like that. I wonder if the person who made, uh, Ib or even, um... I could see some resemblance to like Yume Nikki as well. I wonder if they if they played this, because this is apparently quite popular in Japan. I wonder. I wonder. I can see like maybe uh, people just coming across this game. I was like, oh, Graph is BRBing. I'll go BRB too. And this is what I get for it. We can we can look at it again. I think. <clears throat> Rabbit Joker. Locked fast is the last door. The last card, it, the Rabbit Joker. The Joker is the trump card to open the door. I don't know. The trump card. Okay, so this must be the combination. Like the combination for the that door, maybe. Going to the last room. Here, Emily, this is it. This is what you missed. I think we've seen this before, though. You might have been here for it. Yeah. It's this picture. <laughs> Pog. Look at all the dicks again, too. Ugh. That would take so long. <laughs> no. All right, now I think we want to go back to the salle de coiffure. Gotta count them all for stunts. Uh, all right. Click on the mirror. Click on the bird from the sky. When another sky appears, click on the bird again. What? Click on the mirror. Click on the bird from the sky. The bird is too fucking fast. Like, I am clicking on it because it's flashing, but... Time to turn cycles down, yeah. Let's do that. Um. Oh, I can just do slow down, can't I? It still seems to be quite fast. Uh, maybe that's not the right thing. Normal speed. Um, what? Like, okay, we're on 386, I think, computer. Let's put it down to like 386DX on 750 cycles. Oh. Now it is very, very slow. <laughs> Come on, bird. Ah, there we go. All right, there we go. All right. This puzzle may not work on a fast computer. Ah, okay. Click on the, when another sky appears, click on the bird again. Okay. I like how there's a puzzle in this game that just, if you have a fast computer, it just does not work. <laughs> it's an interesting, interesting design feature. All right, bird, where you at? Okay. Oh, I think the bird's coming out now. No. 
Yep, there we go. All right, bird, I got your number. Yeah, I wonder if anybody played this game at this kind of speed. All right, now time to turn the cycles back up. Haircut. The quilt, yeah, this is the quill signs, quilt pen signs, Alice names, blue pen, blue Alice, red pen, red Alice, red signature, and the king of clubs. Okay. We got it. <clears throat> now it's a TI-83 calculator game. And when I was younger, I, I never knew how to put games on those calculators. I was always jealous of kids that, that did that. Maybe don't turn them all the way up. What do you mean? There are games like this even now where frame rate breaks the game. Yeah, there was a Star Ocean. There was a Star Ocean PC port, one of them, that uh, if if it ran at a certain frame rate, all of the cutscenes and dialogue and stuff would speed up super fast and be like overlapping each other. <laughs> it's extremely funny. Enable God mode for the bird boss fight. This is about to turn into a hothouse flowers video. What is that? I think it's I think it's slower than it was now, Emily. I put games on mine by printing out the code from the school library and typing it in by hand. Oh my god. <laughs> That's very dedicated. What what kind of code did the the calculators use? Was it like a like assembly that was like unique to that? The only time I've learned a programming language by accident. It was pretty cool though. Very cool. All right, three-way mirror, turn on light and open mirror, click on lower left of left mirror. Yeah, we got that one. Click on the inner mirror, click on bottle, and then on spot on the floor, then click on the inner mirror, which appears. Yeah. Picture of a man and woman in orange. Click on lipstick, then on writing. Click on writing, which appears. Yeah, I think we already, we already did all these other ones that are in this room. So, uh, where is... <sighs> It's mentioning a casino and an atelier, and we have not seen either of these. Have we? Where do you even, how do you get to those? How, how do you get to them? I don't know. I just don't know. That room with the dial is the final room of the game. I think that leads to the ending. I'd like to find all the cards, at least. Um... <clears throat> Bar. Where where could that be? And how do we get to the bar also? How the hell do you even get to these places? Let's try going back to the photo studio and then through the door. Alright, this is too slow now. We gotta we gotta crank it up a little bit. No, this goes back to that one hallway. This is way too slow. Let's put it on emulate CPU speed uh, 486. Yeah, this is a little snappier now. Still pretty slow, but I don't know. I guess that's the way it is. It's a basic variant called TI Basic. I remember you said that basic was awesome one time. But oh, still, now it's too slow for the, the music. Okay, let's try Pentium, Pentium, 100 megahertz. Still not fast enough. I wonder what we were on before. Pentium, 166 megahertz. No. Pentium 3. There seems to be some strangeness happening with the game now. It's like kind of choppy, no matter what. Why is this happening? Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, sis, I'll crank it. Okay. That's up to you. Set it to NASA computer. I put it on Pentium 3, 866 megahertz, but it seems to not be, like, helping. I don't know, like, what it was on originally. F11 plus equals. To increase cycles. Let's just increase the cycles very high. It seems like there's maybe a problem now. Um, let's quit the game and just completely quit the, the emulator and open it again. How about to make sure that everything will be okay. Because <laughs> I think the config will... Yeah, something is very wrong now. <laughs> you angered it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, d I don't know why that happened. Kind of annoying, though. Let's see. All right. What is it at by default? Edit cycles. It's fixed 41609 by default. Interesting. Let's... Let's hope, let's hope that we don't have to get all of these in one go, because that bird really uh, caused some trouble for us, didn't it? Let's get the guide open again. I think that all you really have to do is go to that final room, maybe, to get the ending, but I'd like to just see all the cards. And there's, like, a number of rooms we have not even seen. Like, so... <sighs> have we gone in this door? I think we have. I think this leads to the Kingsfield hallway. Yeah, so... Let's go back. Um, this leads to the tea room. And I think that... This is the door that we came in through, initially. But we can't seem to go through it again. Yeah. This dithering, by the way, the pattern <laughs> on some of these doors is so crazy. Like these diagonal, like parallel lines and stuff is super cool looking. Um, Was there anything in like these drawers or something? I guess they, they don't appear. The drawers are not there when you look at it up close. Are we still keeping track of all the cards? I mean, I can I can just kind of remember which ones I have and haven't seen, I guess. Um, let's try going through here. This this goes to the Kingsfield hallway. So I don't I don't know. And from here, we can go into the the other Kingsfield hallway. Is there anything that we can do with these windows, I wonder? Like, we can't, we can only turn around. We can't, like, go and look into the windows or anything. It looks like a 3D print. Oh, the... the dithering? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Alright, now we'll go back to the photography studio. But I think that this is the door that leads to that staircase, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> Which I don't... we don't want to go there yet. Yeah, no, no. Hmm... So... Is there anything to do with all this? We can make that diamond that spins around extremely fast. Uh, and there's like these wings, but I don't think we can do anything with that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Please just let me turn around. And there's like the lens of the camera that has that one painting with the with that ass in it. 
in this window that we can't seem to do anything with. Uh, I feel a bit helpless. I just, I just don't know what to do. Great dithering right here. I wonder how, why whatever like algorithm they used caused the dithering to look like that. Is there, like there's just this, like, and then the skeleton hand, but this doesn't take us anywhere. I, I don't know. I don't know where to go. Let's, maybe I can find another guide that will give us like a little more. No, there seems to be only one guide for this game from Game Boomers. I don't know. How do you find the casino? Is there anything to be done here? Anything with this light? No, it's just this again. <sighs> Hind a door closed tight. Alice in a rabbit skin, hand in hand with bony hand. Now, there was that time that we clicked on this. And we click here. That just closes that door. <sighs> I feel so, I just feel so frustrated and so lost with like where we are supposed to go. Turn this light on, but nothing comes of this. Why are all the paintings nude? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with nudity. I think that, like, nudity is only considered weird because uh, <laughs> Americans made it weird through Protest Protestantism. It's a French game. <laughs> Where the hell are you supposed to go kind of game? Yeah, I'm feeling like this game has got me feeling like a rat in a maze, as uh, AVGN would say. What was through this door? If I'm not mistaken, this just goes back to, uh... Where does this go? You have a very good AVGN, thank you. I mean, it's it's one of those things where I just, I watched so much of his videos, like I marathoned them. And, uh... Just, it's like, like I, I said about, uh... Who was it? Somebody else. It's like you build like an AI model <laughs> of uh of them in your brain. All right. This is the bar. We have reached the bar. But why why can't we do anything in the bar? Like why does this not work? Like I I can't do anything here and I don't know why. Like nothing reacts to clicking. It's so odd. Like, absolutely nothing can be clicked on. There's a lot of obvious items in the room that you could click on, but no. Nothing. <laughs> nothing works. Why? It's only, you only advance when you click on the hat.
feeling like I've come crawling back to the rat cage. We must raise the bar. People get so weird about nude life drawings. Family, like, can I see your works and then balk that I'm drawing titties on someone posing? Yes, I don't know. People get people get very strange about that kind of thing. It's just about the human form. We went to France in high school, and the teacher warned us not to gawk at nudity and ads and stuff because it would give us away it as Americans. Uh, uh, was there any other way to reach this room? Uh, I I just what what is is this like a bug or something? I just I don't know. Like th something must be wrong here, because all it does is take us back. Do we have to drink these in a certain order or something? Seemingly, nothing has changed. Like, why does that teacup take us to that one specific painting? I drink your teacup. I drink it up. <sighs> Clicking on this just takes us to this painting. This charcoal drawing. Where you have to click on these, but like where did this take us? Didn't we click on the the smoke from the pipe one time? No, oh, it didn't take us anywhere though. Wait, what did that say? The other door to the bar. Silk hat wrapped in smoke, silk hat to silk hat, tea party to bar counter, silk hat to silk hat, tea party to bar counter, silk hat wrapped in smoke, smoke, silk hat wrapped in smoke, the other door to the bar, silk hat wrapped in smoke, but where's the other door to the bar? Tea party to bar counter. Tea party to bar counter. What? What? <laughs> she keeps talking about drinking it up. How can I not? Is that wrong? Tea party to bar counter. Okay, so we can click on the hat. It says hat wrapped in smoke, though. What about the smoke? Like, doesn't this take us to the bar? No. I don't know. Wrapped in smoke. Silk hat wrapped in smoke. Why why can you drink these this tea? Like you can't do anything after you have drank the tea. Like you can't even click outside of the table until you click on the hat and go to the bar. So what is the deal? And how do we get here otherwise? Because it said the other door to the bar. Does the tea... The, the tea can't have any connection to that door because you can't leave after you've drunk the tea. You can only click on the hat, so... Silk hat wrapped in smoke. Do I have to start the pipe and then turn around and go to the hat? Start the pipe smoking. 
It's not smoking anymore, though. So... Silk hat wrapped in smoke. I feel insane. Like, what the hell? Oh, a single plum floating in perfume served in a man's hat. What is that from? That sounds familiar. This busts my brain. <laughs> it's a simple. So, okay. I see. That's what I was thinking. Simpson B Sharps episodes. Is there anything to be done with this? It seems like no. Because it just boots us back out again. Ugh. I'm so frustrated. Okay, we cannot, like, turn around after summoning that bush. So, what the fuck? I don't know. Do I have to look at a walkthrough on, like, YouTube or something? <sighs> Let's see. This video is 51 minutes long. I wonder if they finish it or not. Uh, we missed quite a bit of stuff at the start of the game. The nudity has been censored for YouTube. Warning was for stream viewers. <laughs> That's what they said in the in the uh it on the video on the screen. Let me see. I just I want to see if I can find a spot where they have made it to um They found like a button in a drawer but that just took them to the vest which we've already seen that before where like the watch hands fly off of the watch that was in the vest um i just want to see if i can find this person getting to the bar or to the casino or to the atelier i just i don't know Ah, uh, man, I am sorry, you guys, that this game has been so, like, uh, such a stuck-in-the-mud kind of game. I just, I really want to see everything that there is to see, I guess. LMFAO, we're not playing. Yeah, but I don't know, it's probably... A bit boring to watch. It's honestly been really interesting to watch. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's see. They're in the dark room. They're basically having the same, like, progression that we did. Ah, uh, hydrate and stretch. Thank you. Thank you. You're our nostalgia critic. What the hell does that mean? That sounds like an insult. Yeah, I'm sorting laundry. <laughs> I 
I choked on water. Thank you. Thank you, though. How about Guru Larry, then? What the hell's that? Guru Larry. You're our Melvin, brother of the Joker. What's that? <laughs> I'm in the dark room. I'm in the Pizza Hut. I'm in the combination dark room and Pizza Hut. I wish I was eating pizza right now. They quite literally do not make them like this anymore. Yeah, there's like, I was just kind of like, uh, trying to find if there was anything that was like Hypercard or Macromedia Director that is out there that makes games like this kind of like, uh, easier, easier to accomplish. But I couldn't really find anything. There's like a browser implementation of, of like a, like a recreation of Hypercard, but it seemed like it was all strictly black and white. Ah, <sighs> so I don't know. Mm, uh, they're going to the photo studio and up to the door with the dial on it. How do they get like where is where is the atelier and where is the the bar? How do you get there? I think enough people were savvy enough with Flash, but it's that but that that it sort of replaced Hypercard. You know, when I was younger, I always wanted to use Flash, but I just couldn't understand it. Like I didn't I didn't really I don't know, it was kinda of hard to find resources. I didn't really understand like uh action script and stuff like that. You know, come to think of it, there is some stuff in the kitchen we did not click on. Okay, and I'm also seeing some something now. I interesting. Alright. I think that we need to go back to the wine cellar. Hypercard was originally one bit, yeah. Color required extensions. I wonder if that browser implementation has any color. Because... Was that Mist made with Hypercard? Or was that made with QuickTime and like Macromedia Director? <clears throat> Hypercard started chugging really fast, or my Mac was just weak. They were kind of slow computers, right? And Mist was Hypercard. That's so cool. <clears throat> uh, how do we get to the kitchen from here? I think we have to go to the tea room, right? Or to the restaurant? Which is, I think, down this hall? No, I don't think so. Where, wait, where, where does this go? <sighs> My, uh, normally excellent sense of direction is being, like, foiled by this game. <sighs> no, I want to turn around. Oh, God. It was Hypercard for Mac originally. They use one of the color slash multimedia extensions. Ah. Yeah, we can't go through here, so we have to click on the clocks to get it all to fall down. If I play Mist, it will be the Hypercard version, probably. Is it significantly different from the Windows version or the DOS version? <clears throat> you seen that meme ROM hack of SM64 that makes it incomprehensible and adds beta content? Yeah, I think I did see that. I think I saw something like that. They they tried to record recover like a cut content or beta content or something. I think we have to go down this hallway. It's pretty loud now, by the way. Don't know if you did anything. I don't know. I didn't change anything. It's been the same volume the entire time as far as I know. Some of it's based on rumors that aren't even true about the game. Oh. Strange. Ah, Hypercard, my baby's first intro to coding. 
I doubt it, but it's cool to play on Hypercard, yes. I would agree. I was looking into Macintosh emulators, but I wasn't I wasn't able to get get one working. I was looking at like mini VMAC. Oh. But I just I don't know. I, I couldn't seem to understand what you were supposed to do to make it go. Cat! Oh, Cool. Rabbit. Oh my. Oh, two rabbits with a martini glass. Oh, those are the same ones. Hmm. Do I click on the Steam, maybe? No. Any anything you do there. Fire. I don't know how I missed clicking on all this stuff before. Does this like do anything? Whoa, the heat the heat wiggle effect. I think Basilisk and Sheep Saver. Sheep Shaver are the big ones. I forget if Mini VMAC is better or worse than those. The options are not great in general, I think. Yeah, it seems like not, not the most popular platform to emulate. <laughs> the kitchen music drives you insane. It is it is pretty silly. This masterpiece just comes bundled into an emulator. Huh. Soup. Sheep's haver. I mean, people were talking about how like Mac had like no games. Macintosh has no games. Is that really true? It is mostly true. Hyper soup. So that didn't accomplish like anything. There's this, but we already got the card from this picture. Max were for mega nerdy kids and had weird, super weird software. And I remember a lot of like uh, Blizzard games came on a CD-ROM that worked on both Windows and Mac. Yeah, and it did have Marathon as well. That is the home of Marathon. Uh, they certainly had fewer games than DOS or later Windows. I mean, it's because DOS was super widespread because, like, it was like your dad's business computer had DOS and you could just run games on it. Used to go to the game store and pick up each and every game, trying to even find one that was Mac compatible. Oh no. <laughs> and by game store, I mean the games corner of Walmart Electronics. You had a Macintosh when you were little? Mostly they had weirder games. Yeah, it wasn't, I mean, uh, Manhole was like a Macintosh, like a hypercard game as well, right? And Spelunks, those are both, uh, both Macintosh originally hypercard games, as far as I know. Oh, see you later, Anethica. Take care. Thank you for coming. I mean, the emulation accuracy of all the options are quite bad from what I hear, and they're all quite high level, slash based on, like, OS and BIOS hacks. Huh. Uh, 
I mean, emulator specific crashes, but yeah. Oh. Strange. I always thought that like they were supposed to be very stable because they are based on BSD. Yeah, we already saw this. Uh, now, I see the person in this video went to the wine cellar and looked into, like, one of the boxes had, like, a bottle in it. How did they, how did they get that, though? And it took, took them somewhere else. Let's see. Okay, so it's this one. They click on it and open it, and then a wine bottle appears, and you click on it, and it takes you here. And then this appears, and you click on that. Whoa! All right. Mechanical leg? <laughs> Tiny man hiding in a crate. Everybody's got one. <clears throat> My dad was a hardcore Apple cultist. I couldn't get a Windows PC until I built one myself. Cool. When did you manage that? Classic Mac was not based on Unix. I had fewer protections than even like Windows 9X. Protections? What do you mean? And what was it based on? Was that only like OS, OS X, OS X? My older brother let me use his Mac to make Flash stuff until they got my own as a graduation present. Monday is so cool. Yes. Monday, you are very cool. Your computer pass. It's fascinating. Did we make it to the studio? This is the atelier. Hey, we finally fucking made it here. Oh my god. I just realized this must be it. This must be it. Oh my god. Where is it? Okay. Finally, on artwork table. Oh my god. Computer world. I want a big thing of red wines. Ah, uh, you're typing on your phone, aren't you? <laughs> you tried to type dot dot dot, but you ended up on Z Z Z. Yeah. It wasn't based on anything. They started from custom code in the 80s and built it up from there. Ah. I see. How is it that OS X computers could still run older software then? Just like emulation or like including all of that in the computer? Sometime after Morrowind came out, but soon enough that it only ran it at like 5 to 10 FPS. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Covering eyes W face. Ha ha ha. I got you. Protections like memory protection and preemptive multitasking so that single hanging programs didn't crash your computer. Classic Mac OS evolved less than Windows and ended up quite behind on those things by the end of the 90s. Huh. Why? Like, why did that happen? <laughs> they, they were, like, super, like, ahead of the game in the 80s, right? Like, Apple IIs were uh, very popular computers in the 80s. That hasn't been true since, like, the Intel, Intel transition. Uh. Nah. Storing your brushes upright. Is that bad? Oh, there's that one of those bottles. Huh. <clears throat> hmm. On the table. Okay, so now that we're in this room, 
It says on the table. What table? On artwork table. On artwork table. Ah. Lost in the woods, outside the window, a woods. She lives here in her house. Chase the rabbit, hold to woods. Ah. A woods. On a picture of two bodies in a book, leaning against the wall, on a shelf above a red table. On a picture of two bodies in a book, leaning against the wall, on a shelf above red table. Okay, on a book under the easel. This is another one. Whoa. Whoa. Where are we now? What is this room? <laughs> Number 15, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Because Apple were failing. Everyone thought Apple would go bust in the 90s before they bought Next and rehired Steve Jobs. Yeah, I know that, like, uh... I remember John Carmack used, like, Next computers to develop, like, Doom and Quake, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Oh, we're back here again. All right. Let's 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 go back to this room and see what, what happens when we put this on here. Oh, it just takes us back. Let's, let's get the cards that we can here, and then we'll go, uh... N no! Okay, I thought that was going to take us back to the restaurant. <laughs> Plus one cock count. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> if they aren't dry, any water will leak into the ferrule and ruin the glue. Oh no. Oh no. The thing I knew about Next was they were super proud that they hired one guy at the factory or whatever, and I can't imagine life was fun for that one guy. What? <laughs> Like one guy ran the entire factory? The web was also first developed in a next box. Huh. What was like, what defined those? Like what made them good? Oh. Woo. <laughs> cool. Ah. Nah. Oh, yes! Yes! Ah! <laughs> Absolutely excellent. I wonder if this is, uh, the artist's actual studio. Because, like, this seems like a lot of stuff to have in here if, uh, you weren't, if this wasn't, like, an actual room. I don't know. Wah! No! No! Ah. Alright, we gotta, we gotta get back there. Okay. Bottle of wine, back here, back to the studio. They were powerful Unix workstations with a fancy GUI. Ah. I'm glad this game is becoming worth it, probably. It's making me want to watch Manben. Want to look at Studio. Yeah, those are really good. I've only watched a couple before. Like, I watched, um... The lady who makes, what is it, Blade of the Immortal? Or something like that? There was one with her that I liked. And uh, the Inio Asano, even though I have like kind of mixed feelings about him sometimes, uh, I I liked watching him work. It was interesting. Um, I don't know if I watched any of the other ones. We should watch those sometime on uh, the server or something. 
Same reason people bought OS X machines. Uh. <clears throat> Sissification Atelier. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, on artwork table. What does that even mean? On a book under the easel. On a book under the easel. This is the easel. Are they talking about a different spot? That was cool. Um, hmm. Okay, shelf with many magazines. Click on the yellow scallop doll. This? What? <laughs> rabbit hole. Behind a closed door, a rabbit hole. Track the rabbit to where it's at. Run from the rabbit to its hole. Okay. Nugget. <laughs> what? Wow, very saucy. Playboy, whoa. <laughs> Goodness gracious. This is pretty cool. No, oh, I want to look at that more. Oh, more. There is more. True story. Photo play. Ah, oh, you're into photo play, huh? I can see why this guy has these magazines. This Charlie Chaplin photograph? What the hell? Uh, Vogue. Whoa. Pretty cool. Wonder if that's like dubiously legal or anything. To have a bunch of old magazine covers in your game. <clears throat> hey Dodo. What are you doing? I noticed at the last second that that woman's leg was bones. Bones. Pun pun, I was kind of blah on, but some of his other stuff is better. Yeah, I was I was enjoying Dead Dead Demons Dead 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 Destruction a lot. I've only seen a few uh uh, or I've only read like a couple volumes of it, but I was enjoying it. Pun pun, I read all of it, and I like I kind of I, I don't think I liked it, but I just kept reading it and it made me very depressed. <laughs> made me made me feel like like I had augmented mental illness or something. <sighs> Worse than usual. <clears throat> Why was that Playboy bunny so cute? He's a pretty cute guy. I know a Charlie Chaplin, but he's no longer with us. Yes. <laughs> Love how Graffy pronounces Doro as Japanese. I can't help it. I just it just automatically happens. Doro. Doro. Da -da 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 is good. I'd like to I'd like to read some of it sometime. Like uh I don't know, maybe get it through um some kind of like digital storefront to read or something. I'd rather have it as books, but yeah. I don't know. It's kind of hard to justify buying more and more books or like manga or something. I guess I could get them from the library though. I've got so much manga and it's like when I move, oh my God, just so many fucking books. Such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Need to go back and finish it when it's done. Isn't it like, isn't it like winding down? Isn't it almost done? Like he, he announced that it was like starting to uh, wind down or something. Pun Pun puts you down. <laughs> uh, my illnesses are augmented. Yes. Sachi Nanjo from Pun Pun flipped my world turn ways. Yeah, I can see that happening. That's the girl with the glasses, right? American accent, Doro. 
Doro 3. Just moved and has an entire box of manga I don't know how to store. Yeah, it's... You gotta get a bookshelf, and then the bookshelf is big and heavy, and if you gotta move again, you gotta move the damn bookshelf, and... Uh... Books are the most tiring thing to move. Whose idea was it to make them so heavy? I know, right? They're so dense. I have an entire box of uh, old Nintendo Power magazines from when I was young that are like, it's it's like a very small box. It's like a rice cooker box, but it is so heavy. It's like backbreakingly fucking heavy. I hate it. Ugh, I wanted, I was going to give them to a friend, but I would have to get all of the subscription labels off of them first, which is like just fucking kill me that's gonna take so much time that girl with the glasses ugh <laughs> no let's see it said book underneath easel oh what atelier a photo on an easel leads to the atelier there beneath an easel turn the pages to the cellar oh yeah <clears throat> All right, we got three of the cards, I think. No, there's one more. On artwork table, it says there's something. There's another card. Artwork table. What is artwork table? We already saw that painting. Is this artwork table? On artwork table. No, I turn back, turn back this way. On artwork table. No. What is artwork table? That is like so vague. Artwork table. Is this artwork table? On artwork table. What the fuck? Where is artwork table? Oh, Paris de Nut. Does that guy have a brush in his peepee? -pee? Or is he being stabbed? I don't know. I didn't see that. That sounds rough, buddy. Every table is artwork table in an atelier. Kunio Shikaneko. This is a nice drawing. I like this more than the paintings in general, I think. We already saw... Yeah, this is... I don't know, maybe not this one so much. Yeah. Maybe not something I would go crazy for, but... Orpheus. Orpheus drinking a 40 in the death basket. Wow. I appreciate that this guy draws cocks so much. It's a little dog. It's just like scans of like an art book. Kind of cool. Do they just have this in the game? Nice Cox. Dude, nice. <coughs> On artwork table. Uh...
<laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, where, where, where is the card? On artwork table. What does that even mean? On artwork table. I don't know if this qualifies as artwork table or not. I want to find it. Nah, nah. Why are they so vague? Why could they not just say what to click on? On artwork table. We have every other card in this room. What makes someone a criminal in 2077? I appreciate that this guy draws cocks so much. Graphite of 2022. Yeah, I did say that. That's a reasonable thing to appreciate. Yeah, we need more of that. Like this walkthrough has as many puzzles to figure out as the actual game. Yeah, you gotta love that kind of walkthrough for an old adventure game. Uh, making me absolutely crazy. How do we even get out of this? Oh no. How do we escape? <sighs> Have we encountered another one of those? Oh, okay. It's because the bear was in a, like a state that nothing else could be clicked on. Okay. That's why nothing was reacting to anything. This is this is cool. Being attacked by bugs. <laughs> Whoa! Life. Yeah, man, that's life. Whoa. What is going on here? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, Kanako. You've got some fixations on, buddy. Whoa! <laughs> this game is so horny, yeah. I, I can respect this guy. This painter was like, guys, I have a bunch of porn, do you want to make a game of it? It's not horny, it's just art. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that, Ilya. Baron Encore. Baron's Ballet. Baron, at the ballet. Just some books that Kanako had, I guess. <laughs> this looks like Orpheus is wearing like overalls or something. Um... Bizarre. Bizarre. <sighs> well. Yep, that's that's very fascinating. Skull. It looks like we could click on his arm. I think that this this is animated. Oh, here we go. What does this mean though? Ah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um what else? Tezuka's mouse drawer. Uh, remember when I saw Donatello's David? Wow, he's so much hotter than Michelangelo's and feeling very validated when I found out that tons of gay people have noted this. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize there was another one. I, I guess it makes sense. Doing variations by different guys. Oh no, that's just those like belly drawings again. Oh, this is just the the insect attack, entomorph. Oh, it's just the cat again. Now oh, with this lady in the kigurumi. Uh. 
Okay. Um, we already saw that. Well, that's how you get out of there. Is this the artwork table, though? We didn't even answer that question. Let's let's try going through this, and see what what is behind this door. Let's go. Hey, a completely new area. I like that super hot statue of Lucifer that caused a moral panic because he was too hot. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, but I like that. Oh, David was a meme piece, meme art piece, like Madonna with Child. You versus the David he tells you not to worry about. Uh. Uh oh, we walked into the witness. Oh no. Hey, this is a cool room. No! Damn it! We just went back to. Wait, could we have gotten here from the dark room the entire time? Why does it keep turning around? Does this go back to the same room? Or... Okay. Yeah. No! We still don't know how to get to the bar. I would have snapped this game over my knee like three hours ago. Graphia is a powerful gamer. Look, I'm used to playing adventure games. And also, we've been following a walkthrough for like, for like three hours of this at least. All right, let me see if I can find, I'm gonna go back to the video and see uh, if this guy can find the, the card on the artwork table. This person seems to be having the same problem with not being able to click on anything at the bar. Wait, what? Okay. <sighs> All right. So, uh, we need to go to the tea room. <clears throat> because, no, no, no. Hate to hear that. Hear what? Thank you for the stretch and hydrate. Most Greek statues look the way they do because they were designed to be looked at from below and far away and were painted insanely gaudily to compensate. <sighs> you mean Roman? Or, wait, no, they were, like, was that after Rome? That's like the Renaissance, right? All right, so apparently what we're supposed to do is you click on this, then you click on the pipe smoke. That's, that's how you get to the bar, you guys. That's what I've been missing for the past four hours of how to get to the bar. Of course, you have to click on the teacup, and then the smoke from the rabbit's pipe, and then the painting again. Anyone could have figured this out, except for me. All right, we finally made it to the bar, at least. Except I still, okay, I took the hat. All right. Lime. Turn on the lights. All right, let me look at the walkthrough again. And look at the bar, because we are finally there. This is quite an intricate game. 
Um, <clears throat> turn on the lights first. Red and green glass balls. Okay, in the three pictures on the wall is three cards, apparently. We already seen this guy before. Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. Red and green glass balls, peanuts, ice in a tumbler, four glass balls in the bar, red with red and green with green. Okay. Turn on the light. Then go into the painting. Each one apparently has a different card associated with it. Even though they all seem to do the same animation? No. Okay, so... It's just an animation of all of these flowing into each other. All right. <clears throat> Picture at the end of the bar with two nudes. Two nudes. Okay. Click on the red ball on the floor, then on red ball on floor left, then on red ball on the wall. Okay. Okay. And on this, six. Okay, peanuts. Peanuts drop, shrinking now. Look down at the bar. The peanuts are bigger. Okay, we, we need to shrink? I can do that. Peanuts. <clears throat> What's with his freaking pauldron? You know, for defense. It blew my mind when I found out this is true of idol dresses also. It made the entire design sensibility make sense. Oh, I never thought about that before. Theater has to be exaggerated for the people in the back. Oh, <laughs> this is stuff I'd never thought about before. Very interesting. The white rose. How do you I just step closer and then turn right or how am I how am I meant to click on this rose the white rose huh picture at end of bar with egg what okay this is how we click on the white rose All right, game of marbles, the glass balls, lead to the casino, red for poker, yellow for slots, a blue coin to put in the collide kinetoscope, what? Okay, peanuts? Something about peanuts before. Peanuts? Glass ball, we got a glass ball. I like how all of these bottles are just like a photograph of a bar. <laughs> Picture at end of bar with egg. Three paintings, three lights on three men, a ricket, a crown, and three dogs. Oh, that's just the hint that we will get from this painting. Ooh. Whoa. Three paintings, three lights on three men, a racket, a crown, and three dogs. The men begin slowly to move. Yeah, that's the hint for the paintings over there, I guess. Um, Peanuts. Look down at the bar. The peanuts are bigger. Make sure at end of bar with egg. So how do we get to the casino then? Is it through this door? Where does this go? Another, another new room. Nice fire. Theater has to be exaggerated for the people in the back walls. Emily. 
Like how the bottles are just a picture, yeah. <laughs> Egg. Egg. I like this subtle reflection you can see in the, like the paints of the wall. That's that's kind of cool. What? Is this the casino? The roulette wheel. Feather darts? What? Is this the roulette wheel? Okay, we got a coin. Red coin. Slot machine. Click in opening on left side when coins drop in right side. Huh? Dart? Fort? Feather darts. Okay. Black. Blue. Green. Red. Wait. And yellow. says Alice the 12 rooms casino and poker wall ace of hearts rabbit joker and the last door rabbit hole pool of tears Alice's wood Alice will get wood um Alice's wood. <laughs> Do you know where I can gamble? Yes, big sister, you know. You know. Click on opening on left side. When coins drop. Cool. <laughs> Look at that piece of shit. Oh, man. What a piece of fucking garbage. All right, so what, now what? Game in the kinescope. Was I supposed to click on that or something? Hmm. I guess we have to get another coin. <laughs> this kinescope rules. Is that what people used to do for entertainment? Worth every. Blue coin X1. That's the Mario Sunshine blue coins. I guess any Mario would suffice. Oh, Jack. Feather darts. Alright. I think maybe we need a yellow coin. Let's get blue coin again and try to get the one from the kinetoscope. <sighs> Whoa. Crazy. Alright, so I guess we just gotta do that with each one of these until we find the card. The appropriate card. I could have turned to the right from there. Man. They were they watched kinetoscopes and then threw rocks at each other or something. Uh, people of the modern times have too many things to enjoy. They can't look at the simple things and derive joy anymore. To see the funny men in the car and laugh. These are dark times. Okay, Grandpa. Okay, Grandpa Augie. Oh. We gained many blue coins. Crank it. Look at that lady go. Ah. Uh. What? I I couldn't even like see that. It was so fast. This is a scam. Ah, 
now I'm all out of fucking coins. Ugh. This sucks. I fucking hate casinos. Time to start talking about how much my lumbago hurts. What is that? Lumbargo. <laughs> Scared the horses. Lower back. Ah. Uh. In the olden cartoons, the old men would complain about it hurting. As a bit to mock the elderly. Hoggersly. <laughs> uh. Red coin. What, uh, what is the red coin for again? Oh my god, it's so hard to fucking click on this. Ah! We use the red coin for this? Oh. It says play the game twice and it will appear for poker. Uh, it also says Ace of Hearts. Cards begin to move right and left the ace of hearts ace of hearts to joker turns ah joker the last door three four five six and seven now the king and mark of rabbit okay so three four five six seven king and Joker, I guess? Mark of the Rabbit, because Joker is rabbit in this game. Okay. Um, I think we still have to play poker again, though. And there's also a card that is in the slot machine. Click in opening on left side when coins drop in right side. Okay, I just completely missed doing that. <sighs> become poker. Gonna become the poker. Just play poker twice. Yeah, fuck it. Just play poker twice. The least fun poker ever. Fuck this game for sending me back here. Oh my god. How do we even... Oh my god. How do we get back there? <laughs> fuck, fuck this. Oh man. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh... All right. We just got warped. Just a little prank to speed up our jokerfication. All right. Is it through here? No. God. It's pretty impressive that this game has completely foiled my like perfect sense of direction. It's insane. Ah. Uh. All right, I think that we have to leave through this door, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. The inflection on old men was precisely deus ex recut there, and yeah, that has permanently seeped into my mind. We were just watching that on Friday. Old men, running the world. Our electronic old men and their flexibility. Can we go around the fucking corner? Come on. God damn it. Next time we get to that slot machine, we are save stating. No joke. All right. What what is out this door though? I have to put on our finest top hands. Go in this door. We we never went in here. Oh, it's just fuck me up. Why? I 
fucking hate top hats. It's absolute, just the worst, the worst garment of all fucking time. I guess it's not a garment. Garment is like actual clothing. You watched so many things after I fell asleep. Yeah, we watched the the Princess Night dub, and then we watched like some YouTube poops and Deus Ex videos. I hate top hats, except when they're a tiny hair decoration worn by an idol. Okay, you're onto something there, I think. <laughs> I thought you liked Professor Layton. Yeah, but I only like that for the puzzles and for Luke Triton. I don't give a shit about Professor Layton himself. He can go to hell for all I fucking care. Alright, we're gonna save, save state here. Jesus Christ, sis. What? Harsh words. I don't give a shit about Leighton. He's a chump. Evil baby. What? What are you evil babying about? He must be squashed. Luke is a little worm. He must be squashed. Aw, oh, Grizzly. Come now. Don't be so crass. That one just doesn't seem to work. That one just doesn't work. So let me just... Will... Will I still get blue coin? Is this like a determinism kind of game? Okay. The game broke. The game is broken. Oh? No? N never mind. What? Oh, very interesting. I guess we should avoid using save states. Uh... <laughs> I love how slowly the coin comes out. Oh, not enough memory to load. Oh. That's just- that's just so great. That is just so great. I'm so happy. Application error. Ooh boy. Segment load failure, general protection fault. All right. Very, very interesting. Oh man, this game, you guys. All right, let's open it back up again. God damn. You bet, obviously, you better not say that about Luke around Graffy. Yeah, obviously, even you won't be protected. <sighs> <laughs> Fuck this, yeah. Oh yeah, we have to put the, uh, mount the disc on a drive in order to run it. Alright. Let's do this and we can go to the room at the start of the game and see it. Worth it. Thanks for the growl. <laughs> Seems like another low cycles situation, but that broke everything last time and I had to restart the game anyway. You know, I think that, uh, I think that if, if the endings somehow depend on getting every card in one run, I think I will just, like, I don't know, pound some nails into my fucking hands instead. The <laughs> uh... Sonic trying not to wake up a baby that's already awoken and a robot sound. Hydrate. Thank you, Augersley. I think this is really cool. This right here, very cool. The way that there's like people walking around and then you open the door and there's no one there. I like it. I like it. <sighs> Whoa. Is it different? Depending on what color 
the paint on the floor is. Huh. This is called Kaneko's room in uh, the walkthrough. Remember, we saw this somewhere else in the game. Yeah, we've seen these, so this is like... Is this like his house or something? Whoa. You know, the amount of detail is like suspicious. <laughs> On some of these some of these drawings in certain places, I'll just say there's some suspicious goings on. You can open the door, but then what? What's in here? The Pajama Game. John Raitt, Janice Page, Eddie Foy. We're gonna get some copyright infringement? Did all those people get lost in the museum? I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. If you can't complete the game, your soul will be trapped in the museum forever. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. Turn it off. Just get me out of here. Um... <clears throat> yeah, look, here too. It's... This guy. Is that clam moving? Oh, hello. Ish. Oh. Okay, we were just taken back to this room. Wait, ah. I don't want to look at any more stacks of books, Kaneko. I, I understand you take your research materials pretty seriously, but I just don't care, buddy. Oh, carrots. Alright. <clears throat> okay, okay, we can't turn in to the right. We can turn... Can we turn further to the left from this cabinet? No. I think that the only place to go is into this room. Flowers. Open a book with butterflies? Oh. <laughs> Cat. Great. Whoa, what was that? I don't seem to be able to click on anything. All of those are the previous incarnations of you that died due to the game crashing. This is one of those meta games. Yeah, we are also all of the characters trapped in the paintings. This is how Mafia works. Um. Cool. <clears throat> sure. Yes, you love Vogue, dude. I know. Are these all... Like, is this research material? Or is this stuff that this guy painted? I just don't know. What? Okay, that's this. Yeah, bizarre. No, it can't be. This has got to just be research material. That all, That stuff all looks so old. Yeah, we already looked at this. <clears throat> oh. How 
How did... I just clicked on something that made the butterfly... Start flying around. What was that that I clicked on? Okay, well, I mean, that's, I guess, most of the stuff that we can look at. Oh, we can also look at this desk. Um, nothing in that drawer. Wait, what was I, what was that that just appeared? I like how it's, it's a little more normal in this room. Like, what was that? Most of the stuff that we have been uh, doing so far, like in this place, is like a little more normal. And then it gets very strange from, from then on out. Is that a picture of Harrison Ford, the black and white one? Oh, I don't know. His spank bank. <laughs> oh my god, Ilya. <laughs> um, it was above the TV. I don't know. Uh, let's let's try and let let's just go try and open the final door. I I'm just kind of. Uh, I'm a little bit done with this game at this point, and I just, I sort of want it to just end. <laughs> um. Actually, before I do that, uh, I think I will have to uh, use the restroom again real quick. So give me give me a second one more time. I will I will be back in just a moment. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm back. He could have illustrated all those covers. I did okay. He was like 55 when this game was made, I think. Really cool. And that was in the 90s, so I, I guess it's entirely possible. <clears throat> Welcome back. Thank you. Let's just let's just try to go to the final room. Man, I'm just I'm kinda just kinda done with this game at this point. How do we get there? How do we get to that room? I think it's... is it through here? Like, this game is cool, but it's... I don't know, it's just very frustrating to click on a lot of the stuff. Which activates my... nervous system, uh, gremlins that make it, like, just very, very difficult for me to... play for very long. I don't know. I wish I could get my tablet to work with, uh... with... DOS box because I think that would make it a lot easier to click on some of these tiny little little things. I don't know. You can quit, Graphy. No. We're almost there. No point quitting now. Alright. <clears throat> okay. So click on this. Three Four, five, six, seven, king, and then the rabbit. Okay, this is the last room, apparently. We had some fun, we had some agony. Yeah, as it always is. As it always is. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Did it remove the save state when it crashed? Uh, I mean, the crash was caused by the save state loading, I think. I think that we just can't, we can't mess with that. <laughs> How does the tablet behave when you just try to just mouse in? Um, well, I mean, the tablet, when, when the mouse is locked to, uh, to the window, like, basically only, like, it, it, it's like, if I have my tablet anywhere outside of, like, a postage stamp sized like region in the center of the tablet like it's it's like locked up here and it will just be like locked to the edges like like no matter what i do it's like the mouse is just like locked to the edge of it and then like in a tiny tiny region in the center of the tablet it will have super high sensitivity inside the window and it's like completely unusable it's very frustrating we can't click on that painting there's like a crucifixion kind of painting. Oh, clicking anywhere else makes you back up. Bunny. Chop, Chop off your head. head. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite some audio to get. Uh <laughs> I need that as a sound clip. <laughs> uh, that's that's a nice a, a nice little uh something to get at the end of the game. Egg fire to egg up the chimney. It says, if you have trouble getting through the passageway over the fireplace, think of the word resistance. Huh? <laughs> oh no. Hey, are we Alice? Huh? We have like dainty little Mary Janes and little white socks. Egg. Ah. <gasps> Whoa.
Oh yeah, eggshells. There was eggshells mentioned in some of the hints. Resistance. If you're having trouble getting through the passageway over the fireplace, think of the word resistance. What? Think of the word resistance. Think, think of the word resistance. Think of the word resistance. What? <laughs> what? What? Think of the word resistance. Think, think of the word resistance? What? <laughs> what the hell kind of walkthrough is this? Think of the word resi <laughs> resistance? <laughs> I love how old game guides are the insane stream of consciousness of just random people. I know, right? Why are they like that? Why are so many game guides like that? All right, let me look at in the guide. It has all the hints. All right, egg. Egg picture. Eggshells are scattered over the flagging, on with the slipper and off to the pool. So... All right, I think that I think that we have to uh go back down. Or can we? I think we have to have Alice's shoe to like get through this. Like I are we stuck? Are we just like soft soft blocked? I guess we just restart the game. Like, fuck you if you collected all the cards and then went there. I really hope that doesn't- that isn't required for, like, the true ending or whatever. That will piss me off, like, mightily. This goes to the tea room. Uh, I guess we can get there pretty quickly if we go down here. Um... <sighs> Alright, now we click on this. <sighs> yep. Sock locked. Resistance. Resistance. Close your eyes and think about the concept of resistance. Then step forward. Say it some more. I think it'll become clearer. You're almost there. Alright, let's try again. Three, four, five, six, seven, King Rabbit. Let's go. <clears throat> Okay. Three, three, four, five, five, six, seven. King Rabbit. Okay. Resistance. I think we caught it. I think. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, but whatever. We still have one shoe. We could we could pogo down the hallway. Think of the word resistance. What? This game is implacable. <laughs> 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 what even just happened? Are we gonna get skeletonized again? Like, is that gonna happen again? Catch! Catch? Yeah? Think of 
think about the IRA and all will be fine. <laughs> Do I just have to be like fast enough or what? What? Think of the word resistance. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? What can that even possibly mean? Chop off your head. Think of the word resistance. Ah, uh, I'm just, I'm going to look at the, the, the YouTube playthrough, I guess, and see what they did. All right. And you get some terrifying voiceovers and a decapitated head, you know, all chop off your head. All positives. Okay. I don't want to listen to these people talking. Thanks for the walkthrough video, but I don't want that. <clears throat> okay, they caught the slipper, then they go up. I want to see what what are they going to do? What are they going to do to get through this? Oh, okay. They're just... <sighs> it's that you have to click on the falling bricks fast enough to stop them? What? What? Is that seriously it? Uh... What does that have to do with resistance? That makes no fucking sense at all. That is absolutely insane. Oh, <laughs> resistance, of course. Of course. What was I thinking? Oh. Oh, of course. That resistance. Think of the word resistance, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, just... Fuck me up. Oh my god. Like throwing a brick? Yeah, of course. Of course. Resist the acceptance, gravity. Does this FAQ writer have an email? Yeah, we should send a sternly worded letter. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Can you just make a normal walkthrough? I wonder when this walkthrough was even written. Be gone, skeleton finger. Good god. I can't believe we've almost spent the entire stream playing this game. Okay. Ah! What? What? Ah! <laughs> I was so sure this game was going to be just like Gadget, but it's so directly opposite. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Gadget, Gadget was good. This game is interesting, but it's definitely I wouldn't I wouldn't exactly say this is like a 
game I'm going to be interested in revisiting anytime ever. Like, I don't think I will ever play this again. I, w I might watch another pl person play it, but damn, I never want to touch this again. As long as I fucking live. Nah. There we go. All right. No. 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 Please. Oh my god, we made it. Ah. Ah. Uh now what? There was something early on. I made a note in the notepad file. Spades, clubs, diamonds, clubs, hearts. I think is what it is. Spade. Spades. What? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that skeleton hand was pretty cool. That was actually pretty scary. <laughs> Wait. Cat. Uh. That was creepy. You stopped thinking of it. What? Resistance? <laughs> Yeah, it was my fault. Uh, I'm howling with laughter. <laughs> I don't, the skeleton hand kind of kind of scared me, honestly. All right, let's try again. This time, I'm just gonna look at the video and see what they put in. Ugh. These voice clips are playing in places they didn't before. What's the deal? <sighs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No. 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 All right. So it's left, middle, right, and then I think middle, middle. Uh, is that the intended experience? It's scary. I'm getting kind of creeped out now. I'm scared. No. Go away, bone man. Cut off your head. I wish. After playing this game all day, I really want to cut off my own head. No! Oh my god. Ah! Okay. Alright. Now I'm alt having out. <sighs> We're gonna see what they what they press in the elevator. What are you gonna press? What do you press? Close the door. Close the door, gamer. Close the fucking door if you would. <sighs> Does this person even know what they're doing?
Oh, they got grabbed by the skeleton and sent back to the fireplace. Oh my. Alright. Okay. What are they gonna press? What are they gonna press? Spade. And then they go back to the fireplace. They made the same mistake that I did. I love graphy brick grabbing sounds because I'm scared. Nah. Graphy YouTube game reviewer voice. <laughs> Skeleton denial. I think this person might be using save states to get this. They might be like brute forcing it. They press clubs. And it took them down to something blue. Is that supposed to happen? It's like bubbles. They're opening the door. It's like fish? What? Is this leading to an ending or? Oh, okay. Yes, it is. All right. We're going to do this then. Um, we press clubs. We'll do this just to see this ending. We'll come back and we'll try to get all three of them. Wasn't the hint for this from like the very beginning? I, I feel like I remember one like that, but that hint like... Uh didn't seem to work because it started with spades and uh that did not did not like that sent me back to the fireplace i think glub glub wow we are at the 3D lake. We are flying above the 3D lake and over the landscape. Over the beautiful height map mountains to these like three flowers. Wait, is that? Did we just pick our ending by picking the red flower? That ambiance did not last very long, did it? What? Wow, now you are no longer stuck at home. What? <laughs> what? Alice. What? <laughs> Thumbs up. Englishing. David. Thanks, David. <sighs> cool game. That is cool. There's also, there's two other endings, as far as I know. I put off taking a shower for this. What do you have to say, Graffy? Uh, you stink. Why did you not take a shower? 
Wow, yeah, let's play this twice more. I think that I think that it's probably based on which flower you pick at the end of the game. Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. I only stink a little. You reek dog. I shower regularly. I don't think I have taken a shower uh two days in a row in a long time. Alright. <clears throat> I shower way more than you, yeah. Is there gonna be any more? Anything else gonna happen? Is this the prequel to that Finding Jesus movie? No! <laughs> Uh. Okay, so that's the ending that leads back to the beginning of the game, apparently. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else this video shows. Yeah, I think that the flower does determine the ending that you get. All right, so let's 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 go back and do it again. Ooh, yeah, baby, I can't fucking wait to do that incredible sequence all over again. Stop the blocks from dropping with my magic powers. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll play all of the endings myself, you know? I'm feeling like I need punishment today, and just like, in general. Like, eternal punishment. Um, no, wrong way. Oh my god. Hmm. <sighs> Alice's 18 smile. Why are you smiling like that, Augursley? It would be great if there was a save function in this game. Sometimes you've just deserved a little punishment. It's normal, yes. Sometimes we all deserve a little punishment for normal. I'm just gonna do this again. Just for fun. Chop off, off your head. head. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't realize for a long time that uh, Macromedia Director was like... It was like companion software almost to like the original like Flash. Like Shockwave Director or Director Shockwave and Shockwave Flash were like competing products from the same company or something but flash won out because it was so much smaller and started to come pre-installed on a lot of pcs oh did i get it not the same company originally oh they were just both uh okay macromedia acquired flash i see it hurts like billy oh but it's so satisfying what billy billy is this some weird British shit? Oh, it hurts like Billy it does. Ah! No! No! Ah! Like Billy O means a lot. Oh, okay. I see. I'm quoting Narnia, though. Huh. Hey, Declan. I wink back at you. The dragon TF scene. Yeah. That kid cannot stop shedding all of his scales. There's a dragon TF scene? Yeah, there's a part where this kid is... Uh, I think it's in Voyage of the Dawn Treader. He gets turned into a dragon because he was greedy. 
then Christ is like, you better repent for your sins, you bitch. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he sheds all of his layers of scales and becomes a boy again. He's born again as a child of God, you see. It's come up a few times on this stream. Yeah, thanks, Graffy. What? What do you mean, yeah, thanks? You also get turned into a dragon because you are greedy. Yeah, but I do it on purpose. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Flowers. We choose green. We've got bugs ambiance for like a second, just a moment. What will happen this time? We find cats. This game looks sick. I mean, it is kind of cool, Declan, but unfortunately this game is a pain in the ass. It has brought me a lot of suffering today. We are flying over the terrain. Yes. Truly. I like how... You have to manually click through this instead of it just being an FMV. Wow. Look at that beautiful world down there. Graph me. Reads my message with unintended sarcastic tone. What the fuck did you just say to me, little bitch? <laughs> so many animal noises this stream. It really puts into perspective. What do you mean? What does that even mean? Are you fucking serious? Uh. <laughs> Does this person have that problem in their video? Oh, they went past the Cheshire Cat and went into the water and got the, the, the Silent Hill 2 in water ending that loops back to like the beginning of the game. Oh my god. Let me see if this person was able to get the actual, like, ending. <sighs> I want to go back and at least try the... the blue flower. But they all seem to lead to water. I think that... I think that... What the fuck? Okay. 12 rooms, casino and poker wall. Ace of hearts, rabbit joker and the last door. Rabbit hole, pool of tears, and Alice's wood. What? Alice's wood. Alice's wood. Off to the pool. So I think that... Six pools, no, so that's spools. Outdoors, pool of tears, then off to the woods, then back for a dip in the pool of tears. Okay. So... I think that all of the endings lead to the being in the water. So, 
I thought that something else might happen. I think that water.dir was supposed to be us going into the water. I mean, we might as well just go back and do it again. It only takes a few seconds to get there. Oh, see you later, Anjali. Oh, I didn't even, didn't even see that. I'm sorry. The failed to open water dir ending. <laughs> that would be meta. The Cheshire Cat crashes your game. Ah. <sighs> See you, little Angeli, if you are still here. You are undefeatable, Graphite. I am in awe that you are still not giving up. I mean, I'm just too stupid and stubborn to give up. You know? I gotta try, even if the game is broken. I gotta try. Man, it's like, this is one of those games where I love the concept. I love the concept of this game. I think that if it was like... Just a little bit, like, this is one of those games where I would actually say, like, I want this to be a little more frictionless. You know, most of the time, I kind of like a little bit of suffering and tedium in games, but in this case, since it causes me, like, total sensory agony, you know, like, uh, I chop, chop off your head. I, I want to chop off my head. Like, uh, I wish that some of the rough edges could be, like, filed off and it could be more enjoyable. And also, like I said earlier several times, I wish that it either leans harder on being a point-and-click game or being just like a multimedia, like, uh, art exhibit. I guess you can play it that way. Like, you know, no one's forcing me to play it, like, to see the endings, but... I mean... Seeing the ending of a game is like, I don't know. It makes it feel worth it, right? Everybody loves to see the ending, even if it's just like, uh, you win, congratulations, you are a super player, or something like that. <sighs> I don't know. I do like this game, I think, in concepts. I think that maybe I probably would have had, like, a little bit better time if I liked the painter's work, like, just a bit more, because... I, I kind of I'm I'm kind of into it, but at the same time it's like not really something I would like go out of my way to like browse or anything like that in my own time. No! God damn it! <sighs> You've got a power. Getting closure is nice, yeah. Even if it's even if it's nothing, even if it's you walk to the pool of tears and then it just plays the credits. That's something at least, right? Um. <sighs> okay. Heavy breathing skeleton. No! Wait! Uh. Catch! I'm getting scared. Skeleton has some serious breathing issues this pass, yeah. I love how you come at the end of this game. What are you talking about? What? Thought that was graphy. No, my, my heavy breathing doesn't sound like that. Come on, what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. What? What am I? What? Clearly desaturating. Huh? No. Uh, just fucking. Just let this be over. Uh, all right. Door is in sight. Close. No. Mm. 
man, my head hurts quite a bit. Um. All right, here we go again. Hydrate. Thank you, Ilya. Ah. Uh, uh, wow. All right, let's choose the blue flower, and that takes us here with the bug's ambiance. So, it's like armadillo. Remember that armadillo? And then we're just here. I don't know why. You click over this way. And then these rocks materialize. Why? Who cares? Fuck it. It's they're rocks. They fly in the air. Who gives a shit anymore? Now we're in the desert. I know that guy. You control the rocks. Wow. Me? I like how there's like a strip of pixels where it's like not quite correctly aligned over here. Something something went wrong. And then the pool of tears and then the, the credits. I guess this is what would have played uh, at the end if after we went to the mountaintop, I'm assuming. We do always be walking into water, yes. Uh, the famous water dot dur. Dur. I just realized that dur means director and not directory. Okay. Uh, man. I don't know. I'm glad to have seen this game. Because I probably, probably very few people have played through this game all the way. In the West, at least. I don't know. There's not... There's very few videos of this on YouTube. Um, so, I don't know, it's always nice to see a rare oddity. <laughs> and the guide says nothing about the end. It just says that there are three endings, and one of them leads back to the beginning of the game. You know, in case you just want to have some more fun. More fun. With Alice, an interactive museum. This was cool to watch. Well, I'm glad you guys got something out of it. <laughs> I feel a little disappointed. I was kind of like hoping this would maybe be a little more stimulating, but I think it's still very cool, especially for the time. I like I didn't realize, you know, this this came so far before Mist, years before Mist. Um, so it's, it's interesting in that way. It has its uh, its place in gaming history. And you know, I always thought of like, uh, there's there's some Japanese PC games, like when I was playing Gadget, I was thinking, wow, this is really influenced by Myst. But I mean, this, uh, the same director made this game before Myst. So, I mean, that was a mis uh, misattribution of inspiration, I think. Um, so that's very interesting, because I love games like this. I love point and click games. I love these sort of like uh, surreal sort of first person point and click games with like you know pre under 3d graphics so it's interesting to get another piece of the puzzle of their history and um yeah interesting game even if it caused me some pain missed attribution yes <laughs> it's a cool curio but maybe not a fun one I feel like this is something you normally wouldn't play all at once. Yeah, I mean, without a guide, you would have to work through the game, testing everything, looking for all the cards, and you'd probably want to write down every hint to find all the other ones and make your way through the game. Probably, you know, as as with the number of games that we've played on here, I think that when I force myself to play a game for like five hours or something, I it's like impossible to really have a fully positive view of it because... I mean, who who really likes to do anything for five hours straight? Even video games? I don't know. 
So the end of the uh, the end of it just says there are three endings to the game. One actually starts over at the beginning. So wait, but this starts over at the beginning. So what are the other endings? Five more hours, let's go! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? It never ends. Are there... Are there really other endings? I, what? Let me just try searching for endings. Alice and Interactive Museum on primagames.com Wow, this was published uh, September of last year. Alice, an interactive museum, is an interesting relic from a far different time. Let's see. The game's events feel largely up to interpretation, but that doesn't mean it, make it any less meaningful. I would agree with that. Consider taking the trip with a YouTube playthrough. Let's see. 1994 PC. Does this... I mean, this person doesn't even show an entire playthrough. Uh, they, they link to it. Uh, this doesn't say anything about, like, how to get the other endings. Let's see if... I'm looking at the um, the YouTube comments. Okay. Okay. The blue rose path has an armadillo, four hovering stones, a blue butterfly, and a flying fish. Clicking twice on the armadillo leads to the stones. Clicking on the stones causes them to hover. Clicking on the hovering stones leads to a desert with the blue butterfly. Where was the butterfly? Clicking on the butterfly leads to the same landscape after the cat in the green rose path. Not clicking on the hovering stones or the butterfly leads to the flying fish. There may or may not be a precise way to click on the fish that triggers an additional gameplay element, but I haven't figured it out yet. Okay. Wait, what? Green Rose Path has a cat. The landscape journey after clicking on the cat is much longer than the others and ends at the same view as the one after the blue butterfly at the end of the blue rose path. The fact that the two paths can lead to the same location seems odd. The red rose path has a tree that leads to a grove or woods, but there doesn't seem to be any other objects or hot spots after that. These woods are similar to, but not precisely identical to, the Cheshire cat woods that are in the kitchen drawer. Not clicking on the tree leads to a flying bird. Clicking on the bird doesn't seem to do anything special. Maybe I didn't click on it correctly. Huh. But that's still... There's no closure. That, there must be something. Oh, good night, Augersley. I'm sorry. I, I, you probably already left. I'm sorry. Sleep well. I missed the first three, so now I can experience it all from the start. I mean, the other endings were all just led to water. What the fuck is this game? I know, right? <laughs> I know! What? What? How? What? How is there, like... How is... How is there no information about how to get to the end of the game? Would there be any on Hardcore Gaming 101? This game won the AVA Multimedia Grand Prix Award Prize. I have no idea what that is. Um... <laughs> Is there even a page for this? On Hardcore Gaming 101? I would like to try L-Zone, which is the next game that um, Haruhiko Shono made. 
after this. <clears throat> I don't know. It's like there's so little information about this. Let me try putting it into Google instead of DuckDuckGo. Let's see. Walkthrough for game boomers. Ugh, tantalizing safe that withholds the game's ending. What? What? Safe? Oh, that's just the door with the dial on it. This game sells between $500 and $2,000 now. Hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> the Adult Video Awards. After this, but before Gadget? Yeah, it was Alice, then Elzone, then Gadget. I have the feeling that Gadget is probably going to be the best of all of them. I think that one was like, that was like really solid. <clears throat> Except for the sort of towards the very end of the game, it was kind of whatever, but most of it was extremely good. This wiki doesn't have any information. I'm going to go crazy if I don't, if I don't find this, like I, I'm just, ugh. Has has anybody completed this? Uh, hold on. There's a review. Let's see. Walk through so I could write. Okay. Enjoyed this game enough to request the game FAQs. Add it to the list of games so I could write a review and walk through for it. Is there a walk through on? There's no walk through. Why why would you why why would you say that? Why would you ask game FAQs to add it so that you could write a walkthrough but then you don't write the walkthrough and there's no topics on the message board of game FAQs. <sighs> uh, world's first here on the Big Sister stream. I mean, the person uh people have beaten this but I maybe I have to look it up in Japanese and see if there's like a walkthrough or something like that. But like, how do I even do that? I don't even know what the Japanese term for like a game walkthrough is. Or like, maybe I could find a video of it or something. Let's see. Can we get like okay, Moby Games Alice Interactive Museum? Let's see. Sorry, I'm just leaving this on a static screen, but I'm. I I gotta know. I gotta know. Uh, alternate titles, Alice, I can't explain myself, right? Alice, I can't explain myself. I can't, you know, this is just, it's just a quote from the book. So, ugh. I'm going to... Uh, Alice, I can't explain myself. Maybe if I could see, like, Japanese box art. Does it have, like, katakana? No, it just has English. It has English text. <sighs> Man. There's no... Like katakana that I can readily identify on the disc or anything. Extras. Welcome to Alice. Oh my god. I think uh I think we are shit out of luck. Man! Found a walkthrough on gameboomers.com. Yeah, that's what I was using before. Here, I'm just gonna put on let's just put this on. So we have something. I don't think I'm gonna... Uh, I don't think I can do anything else today, you guys. I'm sorry. Let's, uh... Let's just go in here. We can just have this as a backdrop for uh, the end of the stream. I feel unsatisfied and frustrated. <laughs> uh, this may be too loud. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Oh yeah, I turned uh, I turned the desktop audio up for uh, the game. I'm so sorry about that. There, that's probably okay. <sighs> the healing music, yeah. This is gonna help my brain uh, decompress a little bit. Uh, nice room you've got, thanks. I wish my room looked like this. This is rhythmic gentle hip sway music. Thank you for stream, big sis. Yeah, uh, you know, just another day's work of gamer suffering for you guys' entertainment. Uh, the soul still burns. Yeah, this is gonna drive me crazy. I might have to look through all of the, uh... I, I might have to look through all of the hints and see if I can find anything that, like, might help me to figure this out. I don't know, maybe. Nice atelier you've got. Cool. I got some results in Japanese, but nothing useful. Like videos or anything? This was a nice gentle game to have company with you. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. You found a Japanese walkthrough? Really? All the pictures are taken of their TV with the camera. Oh yeah! There's an RPG polymute that's supposed to have a secret ending. I played it dozens of hours and there's only comments on the itch page vaguely hinting at the secret ending. I just gave up. Oh man, <laughs> that's really frustrating. Ah, but I mean, that's how it was. Like, that's how it would be if you were playing this game at the time. If you didn't solve it yourself, that's it. Which is so frustrating. Can you imagine having that on your mind for like years? For like a decade or something? Like occasionally you'd remember this game and be like, man, I wonder what you are supposed to do at the end of that game. You maybe pop it in and reinstall it and mess around a little bit and get no further throughout the years until Windows uh, started to break compatibility. used to happen to me constantly with point and clicks especially the canonical ones yeah stuff like uh, grim fandango i i only made it like a ways into that game and then stopped playing it the puzzles were so hard i would always get stuck in the first five minutes in every lucasarts game and they have evil puzzles they're just evil <laughs> wretched uh, Huh. Yeah. Man. The dig is the only one I ever solved myself, and that was helped by having dumped a dozen hours into it as a clueless kid clicking on everything. Huh. I'm gonna copy that. Hey! Thank you, Hotsen. Much appreciated. Thank you for the two months. I'm gonna put that into translate. And see, uh... At the fireplace, check the fireplace, check the fire, check the eggs, check the fireplace. Yeah, but we already- we did all that. Last door- yeah, but that's- We already did all that. Yeah, that doesn't help. It's after the fireplace. It's like long after the fireplace. Like when you get to the three flowers, I guess, is like where we were stuck. Doesn't the dig have a bunch of like very abstract like alien language puzzles or something like that? I don't know. It does. How did you solve that? That's the kind of thing I like. Oh, I see. Are you a cryptographer type? 
The dig was interesting because I got it as a bundle so I cared less and stopped playing just before the actual game started. It made continuing it earnestly really interesting. Hmm. Monday genius. Yes. Monday genius smarty puppy. guide I think we've seen all there is maybe um, fireplace is the second to last place in the Japanese walkthrough the last one is elevator huh I mean after the elevator we just go outside and there's those three flowers that lead to three different paths and there was this, somebody on YouTube had, had found further stuff like past each of those paths that we like like it, but it said that the left path, the blue rose path, if you did click on the butterfly after the stones when you're in the desert, like it just led to like somewhere that there was like a, like you could go to like the same place as the green rose path. But if you went past the floating stones, you would be led to a flying fish, but that clicking on it did nothing. But the, the game boomers walk through, we, we got the same ending every time with the water. And then if you click after the credits, it goes back to the beginning of the game. And the game boomers walk through said there are three endings. Does that, do they just mean there are three paths to the end? Or are there three actual endings? It's so mysterious. This is going to drive me absolutely insane. The good ending appears if you've seen all the cards. Oh, great. No, 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 no. Uh, is there a walkthrough? Or like, is there a video of the game? Like a recording in like of the Japanese like version getting the actual ending on, on YouTube? Oh man, I wonder. Oh, it's just bringing up Alice the Madness Returns, Alice in Wonderland, Avril Lavigne. No. No. And there's the only playthrough, the only full playthrough on YouTube is someone who only got the water ending. Ready for the 100% stream of this on Wednesday? I mean, I, I can't, I can't, unless I play it like slowed down, unless I play it slowed down, because some of those cards were impossible to get with uh, the emulator set up as it was, and when I when I lowered the the cycles, it became uh, so slow that it was like almost unplayable, and the music got really fucked up. Man. Oh, I can't. I can't leave it undone. If it's really that you have to see all the cards... Fuck. <laughs> can't you just quit and up cycles and return? No, because I don't think that... I don't think you can quit, can you? Yeah, I know. I know about the number of cards. We saw almost every card. We saw every card but the one in the slot machine the one in that little animation machine, the one from the poker game, and the one that is on the art table, which I don't know where the fuck that is or what they're even talking about in the walkthrough. <laughs> Surely you can. Doesn't it save? I don't know, though. I don't know. There's no way to know. And sometimes the game crashed, so I don't know what kind of progress we even lost. 
Wouldn't it be easiest to just find a cycles value that is slow, but not too slow, and use that the whole way through? I guess. Maybe. 86 box probably has more consistent speed. Yeah, I've got a tab open for that. I just need time to set it up, because it sounds like it takes a bit. I'd like to get that set up, though, and uh, not have to use DOSBox for this. What better reason to go through that process? Ugh. <laughs> There's something about this game where the ending is so unsatisfying. It feels like there has to be something else. Yeah, I, I would agree. You just need ROMs and shit, and picking the right devices, etc. Like... What do you mean ROMs? Like, ROMs for, like, the DOS? Like, the, the DOS and, like... I have the Windows 3.1. I don't know if it shows which cards you're missing. I mean, I know exactly I know exactly what four cards we're missing, I think. You need ROMs for the motherboard BIOS and for the graphics card you're emulating. That is insane. I mean, there's got to be a guide to setting this stuff up somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's repositories with all of them, but it's still fuss. Cool. I'd love to get that set up and have, like, accurate emulation for this stuff. I want to set this up and don't even want to use it for anything. Yeah, just use it for doing all your computing on Windows 3.1, just for fun. DOSBox will work fine with this, you just need to not dial the cycles all the way. I mean, the default cycles value, let's see, what is it set to right now? Uh, 4982. It's, I don't know if it saves or not. Let me see. Hold on. Because uh, when I looked at... There was a page for it on old games, which uh, is a site you can use to download old games pre-set up. They said that you can just quit the game and come back and continue looking for the cards. But I don't know if they mean that it saves or not. Like, there's... I, I wish I could find, like, a save file. You can save that, I think. Really? How? Nine of diamonds, check the left of the coin slot on the slot machine? Yeah, that and the one that was in the animation machine. It sounds like they're saying it saves, yeah, but I think that it could mean that it saves. It could it could mean that it saves, or it could mean uh, that you, they, they don't understand that you need to get all the cards, and that you just come back and look for more cards to get more hints or something. So, I don't know. I don't know. Ah, so frustrating. Look for recently modified files in the game directory, maybe. Alright, let's try that right now. Seems like most people writing about this game do not understand it. Yeah, <laughs> it's unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna... Hell yeah, museums. <laughs> hey, Mercy. Thank you. Thank you for six months. Or for eight months. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We are uh, pretty much done with the game, unfortunately. So, uh... Uh, how do I look for... Oh, yeah, I should look for it in... In the actual, like, uh... The directory where I have all this stuff saved. Open up Explorer. Like, in in, in IRL or in the game? In, in DOSBox? Does Windows 3.1 have a registry? I don't know. Hi, gamer. I am owned. Yeah, Micah, I, I saw the card, but I wasn't able to click on it. And there's also one in the poker game that you just have to play poker twice to get it, but I didn't get that one. You can try running reg edit, I guess. How? Like, uh... Run. Okay. Registration info? Is that what I want? Registered file types. I guess that's what registry was originally. Interesting. 
If you just open Explorer and look for files, you mean, you mean like file manager or do you mean Explorer in IRL? It's in main probably. It's in main probably, okay, whoops. Yeah, file manager. That's explorer.exe, I think. Okay, so the C drive, or I think it's here, it would be. Um, player? How do I see recently modified game? All file details, okay. Whoops, uh, what the hell just happened? Strange. Nothing, nothing has been modified here. And this is just like where it's installed. This, this Alice directory, this is just the, what I downloaded uh, from Abandonware. Like this, this just has like, uh, like all the files and, and shit in it. Like, uh, th this is nothing. Or wait. Yeah, cause all the data is on the CD. My bet is that it does not save, yeah. Uh, man. Oh. Tree and directory. Uh. <laughs> and it's certainly not gonna save under the CD. One of the photos was named Gallery. Gallery. The whole nested windows shit in Win3x is so weird. I like it. I think it's neat. Let's let's try running run regedit.exe and go to was it main you said? I mean main in program manager. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, package? These are just file types? Hold on, let's go to, is there anything in the Windows directory? this no application is associated with this file how can i open open with is there any way i can edit this with like notepad or something the re registry was primordial in win3x and it's unlikely it was used by this game huh what is this what is this though in 0363 that's from no, that's from a couple days ago. Never mind. Gah. Gah. I like how twenty-two is like not anything they ever anticipated like anyone to be using Windows in. <laughs> so it's just like a like a carrot. <laughs> I guess it's like whatever the next like ASCII key was or something. ASCII character. The guide says the game registers in a card memo, which ones you have, but I don't know what that means. What I don't know what happens when you close the game. Card memo? Huh? A My Documents subfolder? I didn't see that anywhere. Can we sort by date? All right. Reg.dat. That might be the registry. Hmm. No. Telephone call. What time is it right now? Oh yeah, hey Zoda. We we finished the game and we're just going crazy trying to find out things about the game. I don't I don't even know how to explain what we're what we're trying to do right now. 
Graphy is giving me Ritzko working in the nerve computer. It's kind of what it feels like. I love the kit media folder. I think that's for kit fix. This is probably, I'd say like videos or something that are associated with it. Reg.dat probably got its timestamp updated from just running regedit. Ugh. What is this? Winfile.ini? No. Is that like the what tells like the the location of the windows of file manager? <laughs> what the hell? That's just stored in plain text? What the hell? And that's like the last directory that I used? Oh my goodness, this is so arcane. Cool. This stuff is all just plain text? I guess what else would it be? That's so fucking cool! Yeah, that's probably, uh, TurboTax? What? Probably good to know. Probably good to know this stuff. Oh man. In case I ever have to fix anything. <sighs> Let's do tree and directory. And my documents subfolder. I don't think there's. Uh, yeah, we're trying to figure out if the game progress is saved soda right now. Uh, I don't think there's a my documents folder, and the Alice W doesn't have like anything that's been updated, and it has no documents folder or anything. And this is just uh, like I don't know. I don't know why it has data, like. And none of this, none of this can be edited. Like, uh, well, these WAV files can, but like this, these are all director files. So there's nothing I can do with those. Gah, it's so frustrating. Ah. <laughs> Turbo tax. Almost everything was played in text in Win 3X. Cool. I'm gonna replay Dusk. Cool. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it yourself. I would bet money that this game does not do anything with the registry. Okay. Ah, <sighs> man. Windows is constantly adding support and working around bugs of exiting applications. So there's tons of references to commercial software you don't necessarily have installed in all versions of Windows right up to 11. What? <laughs> That's so funny. God, Windows is so fucked up. I had a game-breaking bug in Disco Elysium where it unflagged something that locked my UI and I fixed it by going into save file plain text and re-editing it. I mean, that's good. Like, having things in plain text is great. Because if it's in a proprietary file, you're fucked a lot of the time. Windows will literally like apply hacks based on the name of executables you run to keep them working because people just blame any issues when they upgrade their system on Windows. Oh. <laughs> Good backwards compatibility is a large part of why Windows is so successful. Yeah, but I mean pretty much anything from like like uh, XP and before is like it's a real crapshoot if it's compatible on a modern PC. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> frustration. So, I guess we're willing to bet that there's nothing, uh... <sighs> nothing saved. Nothing is saved. It's a lot better than Linux or Mac OS. Oh. Why? Break compatibility much more readily. Strange. <laughs> Graphy has become a treasure boss. Wow. 
boing, 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 boing. It's like I'm a shark. You see my fin coming. <laughs> Wiggles your arms that are made out of a series of orb sprites. <laughs> Graffy hiding when something is knocked off the table and everyone heard it and is coming to see what happened. No! No! Well, I'm tired. I'm tired and I feel frustrated, so I, I can't... It's already... We're almost at six hours, so might as well... Uh, might as well call it a day, I guess. Turn a phone call that I just got. Uh, thank you all for watching. I don't know. I feel a little bad about being kind of grumpy during this game. I'm feeling so frustrated with it. But I don't know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're gonna raid. We're gonna raid. Oh wait, I was gonna raid Piro, but he's been going for like seven hours almost. Is he still playing? Don't feel bad, it sucked. I really enjoyed watching, but the game sucked, obviously. I mean, it sucked to play, but I thought it was cool still. Uh, I'm glad I saw it. You have the patience of a saint. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm like a, like a dummy that you can, why did my glasses get messed up, by the way? What are, what are they attached to? Ah, fuck it, throw them away. Throw them in the garbage, where they belong. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess tomorrow, I want to do a President's Day stream of re-elect JFK. So I, we gotta do that. We got to. I'd like to, but I don't know. Maybe I won't be in the mood for it. So, who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> I would really like to play that though. Must have bumped your glasses on the layout border. Yeah, that's probably it. Last night I saw Macaw fight the same boss for like two hours in front of 1,000 people. Like that kind of patience. Ah. Special Monday stream. Yeah, it might happen. It's, it's rare, but it's President's Day. Will Monday stream at the usual weekday time? Yes. Yes. Yes! I know your pain. Pain. What, a video game tedium? Let's see if let's see if Piro is uh gonna keep playing and then we'll raid. Wish I still had a record of how arduous it was to beat Pib game. Yeah, what happened to that? I'm glad I saw at least a little bit of it. <laughs> see you you completely like uh devastated at the end of the game. <laughs> Because of how strange, uh, how strange the happenings of the game were. All right, let's uh, let's raid Piro. Looks like he's gonna keep going for a little while. Um, I think I just forgot to vod it. Oh damn! Oh, he just succeeded in creating werewolf. Excellent. All right, um, be good at the raid. No raid message. Nope, just uh. Thanks for coming. Thanks for keeping me company during this uh, painful game. And uh, have a have a nice evening. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> see you later, everyone. <laughs>